Present. Yeah. I do, I do have a, a, a weird, weird topic, a weird conversation that we'll play this, this night. You know, I have it right now. Okay. Want to tell you about what I was reading about? Uh, about bears? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, I was reading about this motherfucking strip club and how there's a trial over a death at a Colorado strip club that was delayed after the key lawyer died there, too. <laughs> I was, like, <laughs> I was like, look how pussy they got there. They motherfucking just killing off folks. Just going there like Dexter and leaving a plastic room, get you a private dance. And this is they, this they, lo- this they, they slogan for their strip club. Magic City. Pussy to die for. But it's actually called Shotgun Willies. Oh, okay. I got you. I got with you. With a limp shotgun. <laughs> Come on down to blew- Shotgun Willies where we got pussy that'll kill you. We got pussy that'll blow your load. <laughs> yeah, we got that cootie cat that'll make you go back. Ah, shit. Nah, damn it. That was legitness. Jeff, I see you in here with us, man. Well, could you imagine going to work every day and getting so drunk that don't nobody say shit to you? Because they scared you going to fuck them up. James William, what's happening? <laughs> but at the same time, you go in the office one day and get so fucked up. That I fuck them up. No, that they take your ass home. <laughs> They take you and home? And then they drive you home. Oh, then they looking out for me then. Right, they looking out for you. Oh. They don't rat you out. Easy to do that. <laughs> the next time you wake up the next day and you was like, you know what? My life kind of fucked up and I think I'm an alcoholic. So I'm going to check you into somewhere and get help. Then you let your job know. Then you come back and they fire you for being an alcoholic. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You fucked yourself I mean, in. You did. And I would say you could try to probably get you a lawsuit. Because it's like. Oh! A nigga got a lawsuit in 140 bands. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you enabled my shit. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> you enabled me. Bitch, you ain't write me up. You drove me home. You ain't called the cops. You ain't did shit but help me. Bitch, fuck you. I want my job. And they said no. And he said, I'm taking your ass to court. Party foul on your ass. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Another. <laughs> what? You got the music on? You play Fortnite? Oh, that's a safe thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. I got my thing on. Yeah, it's too short. Oh. Uh, you been playing Fortnite, nigga? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. I'm using little cookies. $58,000 a, a, a company will pay you. 58 To bury you alive with a chance on the way out. Would you do it? With a chance on the uh-huh. way? What's the chance on the way out? Gotta find it. I mean, shit. How deep am I on the ground? Regular six feet. No, I'm good. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> okay. I'm not even going to hold you. I ain't going to lie. Like, you realize you're just like, Taking the asthma bump. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. Hey. You? Fifty-eight thousand dollars. Be buried six feet deep. You get one oxygen tank. You may be an asthma bump. You got asthma. I gotta get out. You gotta get out. Yeah, no, but you know how much six feet of dirt is there? Oh, shit. 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 Oh, shit.
Fuck it, hopefully I won't take this bitch. <laughs> Warning that formations go, bitch, I'm him. Look the realest in the face while I'm brushing out my hair. Don't wear no chains, I stop, they still like my mama used to say. Nigga, life ain't fair. If you want it, go and get it. All the reasons be excuses. Had to hang up on my bitch just to go back to the music. I ain't want a fucking chick. But it should be choosing. There's a way that you can win if you pirate in the booty. Look, I know it's been a minute since I did some bullshit. Got some weed, got a beat. Hell, I got my two cents. Check it, I ain't trying to hit if you got loose lips. I ain't talking about your pussy. Tell me who you're cool with. <laughs> Quiet. I can't breathe. Listen at these niggas fake and play and make believe. Never been a gangster and I never claim to be. But I know where I'm from, so just leave the shit be. Got some niggas trigger happy, I can't calm them down. Get to thinking he can run, hollows hawk him down. Shit too easy, every beat I get, I walk it down. Killing rappers just to have something for me to talk about. I'm just rolling, they don't need to pay me. This is what I love. I've been chilling, right a lot, cause I'm retired from the drugs. They gon' hear me through the walls, get to thinking it's a club. I've been working, got a song, shit, I'll mix it for a dub. Shit, I'll mix it for a dub. I've been working, got a song, shit, I'll mix it for a dub. Shit, I'll mix it for a dub. I've been working, got a song, shit, I'll mix it for a dub. They ain't working like me, niggas only in it for the bread. I'm trying to position people, put my partners ahead. To go from packing these pistols and popping these pills. Talking shit and getting paid like I'm king of the hill. Damn it, Bobby, I'm the only one selling propane. Charcoal rappers trying to grill with that door flame. Coming off the dome, same way we did with Dope Man. Jumping off the gym and flying him and it's my offspring. How you talking shit if you don't know me, though? See me round the city, I'm just roaming, bro. Put this dick inside the bitch, she get the Holy Ghost. I told you what it is, what you calling for? I've been on the same page, same thing. Watch me swerve and change lanes, switch it up. I'm talking to a hoe, I had to change names, play it, have a game play. One night in the days, fade, take out the color, baby. That's playing with my name, say. Understand the final print, my sense is just like Spider-Man. Vibe just like Viker, then quit talking, then you might get in. I do this shit, that's public knowledge. Waste of time thugging in college. I'm the shit, oh baby, stop it. You give it, Lorraine and Bobby, do your Googles. I ain't stupid, talking good, but can you do it? I'm a loser, but I'm Coolin', wish you could do what I'm doing. Get my fist from Dollar General. I know y'all gon' say I'm mental. All the talk is artificial. It's just not what I'm into. Why? I know know what I'm talking about. Young nigga from the south, we stank his leg and walk it out. South Dallas swagging to the bank. Check my Dougie out. Hands on your head, bitch, we flexing. What you talking about? R.I.P. the big mo, don't come if you ain't sit. Bro, you talking to the big dog. Hate if I had been y'all. Been setting up for lift off and I ain't looking back. Wake up to a statement for some payment. Look at that. Ho up, ho up, ho up, ho the hell up. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all already know what time it is. It's the Drink the Kool-Aid podcast. We up in here live doing that damn thing. Now, we got 
Okay, can y'all hear us and can y'all hear the music back there? Like, if that, if it, can you hear the groove? That's what I want to know because, yeah, we couldn't really hear shit. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So, yeah, Dr. Echo and shit like that. So, what we let us know what we got to do out there, right? All right, so, so we're going to jump this thing on first, y'all, with what the fuck are people doing? So, hey, Kevin, go ahead and jump us off with that, that rock, rock. Get that right. What's that number? 310? 
Okay, we got three ten stars. Chanel Baltimore pulling up for us, getting those stars cracker lacking up in here. I believe those are our first stars of the night too. Go <laughs> on, Chanel. Doing good motherfucking things, y'all. Chanel Baltimore was our longest reigning, our longest reigning DTK Women's Champion. And I know you said this ain't our wrestling side, but I figure I give shout out all as well. where they do. You know what I'm saying? So hell yeah, all y'all pull up. Let's your hey, this ain't we talking about everything right here. And make sure y'all are pouring up y'all's topics in that pump. If y'all got something y'all want us to talk about, because we want to talk about the shit that y'all want to talk about, pull that shit up and we'll get to it. But yeah, nah, fuck that, bro. Good motherfucker, we can put that shit to the side and plot it. All right. <coughs> yeah, put it aside, put it aside.
why you with him. Bro. <laughs> Look, this nigga decides to not ride the brakes, but to ride the oh, fucking wall. It passed niggas. It came in second. It came in second. Everybody just ride the fucking wall. I hit the second. brakes. It came in second. Bam. So the interview, they asked him, "Where did you learn that from?" He said, "Nintendo GameCube." Keep knocking and so, gaming if you want to. The, oh, well. the, the tag was <laughs> GameCube in second place. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold him up though. <laughs> See that kind of, what's that comment? I see a cup up on there. What we sounding like now? We good? Yeah. Music drowning y'all out. Yeah, that's it. Amy said she liked the Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, man. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We definitely got flavor. We definitely got flavor. Uh, so you said that citrus just tastes like sparkling water? Yeah, yeah. it doesn't taste like oh, shit. shit. I don't like, like water. Yeah, I don't like, like sparkling that, water, yeah. fam. I ain't a fan of sparkling water. So, yeah, that orange is no go then. So it looked like the root beer and the uh, lemonade is official, though. Yeah. Hey, hey, I like your shirt, man. Yeah, oh, so. Likes your shirt. The other, what the fuck? Oh, Ruben, on? appreciate that light. Like, hey, hey, yeah. Ruben hit that hole, Marcel, and Ari hit that thing. Thank y'all so much for those. Pull up. Kool Aid so good, even diabetic could drink it. And if your ass ain't sipping, you're tripping, tripping. Keep it. So, the next question is y'all y'all been tricking, tricking, tricking your kids, tricking, tricking. Yep. So, let's say one day, you know, one year, you ain't got enough money to take your kids, tricking, you know, like buy an outfit. So you got to make for it. That was my whole life. Cool. So you got trick or treat, and this house decides to give you condiment packets because you got a she costume. We throwing them right back. Oh. <laughs> we, nah, we busting them out. Nah, 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 nah. them on their porch. <laughs> nah, this is Nah, because this is how you really did. You, you ever turn the condiment packet into a bomb? Yeah, turn them. Twist that bitch yeah. like a motherfucker to a super <laughs> tight, and then you throw that bitch like a pop rock. <laughs> Oh yeah, give me, I'm gonna take all of them. I'm coming back I'm with saying, TP in I'm the house. Nah, I'm not gonna, no. I'm gonna hold that shit right here. I want all the condiment packets. Give me all that shit, bitch. We finna paint your shit like a motherfucking, uh. You got hot sauce and we paint your house, like bitch. Like a motherfucking Gusto Payton. Whatever the fuck that nigga is, that just be splatting shit on that bitch. Y'all got me oh, fucked up. Just I'm finna up. go get That up. nigga, Van Gogh, got go. I don't give a fuck. I gotta go, bitch. He said, I, you ain't got Gecko. <laughs> you know, she really need Gecko, cause she gonna need some insurance on this shit. You hear me? I'm gonna get a hundred. Jumbo toilet paper rolls and we TPing the shit out of their house and then we coming back I with mean, water fly. guns and we hitting that bit with water guns so it's harder for them to grab all that shit off the trees. But I'm like, so that shit gonna be stuck like a bit. They like, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's a minute. I go turn on that. I go turn on the water hose and spray that all the toilet paper. <laughs> Motherfucker out there with super soakers and shit, boy, <laughs> just drowning shit. Nigga step uh, out the van like it's super holes. soakers. I remember they brought super <laughs> soakers go. with bleach to school. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. God. God. Who did that? He did. <coughs> no. Some random kids brought, decided in high school to bring a super circle. Last day of school. Brought a super circle to school with bleach in it. Nigga, so many fights broke out. Yeah, cause yeah, yeah. I'd have been on your ass. I'd have been on your ass like real shit. Real shit. And, hey, and the administrator would have broken up. Administrator would have been getting that ass William Freeman, appreciate that like. Hey, pull up, pull up, pull up. Rachel, hey, we was that live. liking that share, man. All day, but we need some cut. We y'all ain't let us know if that fixed the music problem, though. Are we good on the music? Oh, yeah, we need let us know on the music. Let us know because I don't want to go up in here and do a whole hour and we still being drowned out. So let us know if we good. Yeah, yeah, man. Give us some comments. Talk to us. We feel lonely. What's the deal? You're, you're, you just forget the question. Oh, yeah. Man gets arrested after shooting his friend for liking his girlfriend's Instagram picture. Yo. Yeah. It's a new, it's a new thing. I ain't trying to go too far into it, cause you know they. 
this fuck that. Said. I'm the real life. I'm. I am in real life like I am on the internet. Fuck that. And so yeah. I told you I was gonna shoot you in, in real life and on the internet, bitch. Well, I said what I meant, and I meant what I said. You shouldn't like the pig. I don't, that's why I feel bad about this generation. Shit, shit, talk, 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 take it to the head. Because the motherfuckers, they feel like they got a, number one, you shouldn't be talking about shit that you're not anyway, and then when they do say some dumb shit, instead of just being like, oh, you know what, I said some dumb shit, the motherfuckers feel like they got a Tupac and then go, like, act on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they done done some shit. My bad, nah, fuck out of here. This is a fucking Instagram, like, you. It's a like of a bitch. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even like you really shooting nobody. She told me she was like, like, <laughs> at what point is that shit disrespectful? All that extra shit they be talking about. Maybe if you're the good part of the It don't matter, bro. It's social media. If you, my nigga, girl, they clearly be like <laughs> friends to an extent. Friends, through, you know what I'm saying? Through mutuals. Did like he shit. like it or hard it or care? It doesn't matter. All but if, 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 if a you like can, on Instagram is a hard you can, if you I'm trying to play that, devil's advocate. If you care that much. Then you should have been, because you want to be on top of that shit since you're saying it, it should have been like this. Hey, you don't need to have none of my homies, have your friends on that bitch. You should have had some type of shit. There should have been some type of motherfucking understanding. <laughs> Obviously, there wasn't, and a motherfucker got in his feelings, because you know how it be. Maybe, maybe she was a bad bitch. You know, some motherfuckers ain't used to having bad bitches. Well, so... But you think you got shot, though, it's place now. Well, hey, good shit. You know what? <laughs> yeah, and guess what? Well, guess what? And guess what? Shit, guess what he just did? He just gave that bad bitch up to somebody else because his ass about to be locked the fuck up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So now you have no choice. Oh, no. Now you have no choice. Nigga, we've been pals till I get out, bitch. Now you have no choice. I know you seen that video of that nigga getting in that nigga house. I'm keying this bitch. I done whooped that nigga ass, bro. You got me fucked up. Say, that nigga, hey, hey, I can fight him. I can be, I can fight him. Real shit. You know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they gonna go over there, they gonna stand on the bed and Hell shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Nigga, what? Give a fuck. Hey, nigga, all right, nigga, you, you ain't got no strap you in your hand? All right, nigga, let's go. For two years. <laughs> Here you got nigga be... better be holding a strap or something, yeah. nigga, and I better be naked at that. You know what I'm saying? If not, yeah. no, uh. we're throwing down, bro. You got me. <laughs> hey, no, wait, nigga, I'm sorry. I'm taking pride in that shit, nigga. I'm fucking your bitch, and you had to break in. To get mad, nah, nigga, you fight me, cause nah, obviously, no, and that was his ex. So guess what? You obviously wasn't nigga on your just shit. Nigga died off of that shit. Nah. Uh, fuck. Nah, if that nigga fucked up and that's his ex, that this some new shit, if this a new bitch or something, nah, you let that shit go, cause I ain't about to. That's y'all shit. Y'all obviously ain't got some shit that's done. But nigga, if I been seeing her for about like a year or so or some shit like that, and then your ass done got out and say, nah, bruh. If I'm that nigga. Huh, do you hear me? That's hard. <laughs> do you hear me? <laughs> Trouble and possession is not intense at all. When we talk about hours, you talking past history on memories, nigga. I'm talking about right now. Right now, she mine. Trouble you got back killed up. like that, nigga. Huh? Trouble the rapper? Oh, well, remember what happened when old dude went into the hotel room, though, and thought old dude wasn't going to shoot his ass? Like, hey, get up at my room before I shoot your ass. And what happened? He shot that nigga on the live. That's going to be me, bro. That nigga wasn't the chick? No, the dude shot the motherfucker going there catching this female cheating and shit, and the side dude shot that dude, shot the boyfriend who came in there on camera and shit. Because oh. it's like, bro. And so I'm saying, I'm not saying that I'm the side dude, but in that motherfucker's eyes, you know what I'm saying? That's still my chick. Nah, bro, you wouldn't have been able to put your tippy toe on the edge of that bed, bro. I'd have, nah. Uh-uh. The eviction notice was 30 days ago. You did not come get your shit, therefore it is no longer yours. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. We're free you know to do what with it as we please. Do you hear me? You got 30 days to come get your bitch. This Otherwise, chick, not yours. This chick was trying to kick this dude about the apartment and he wasn't listening. And he's like, what you gonna do? You gonna shoot me? And she was like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot your dumb ass. You gonna get out of my house. Shot, and, really shot his ass. And really shot his ass. And the next thing you know, he on the ground crying like a motherfucker. Ah, you shot me. Yeah, yeah you dumb motherfucker. I, I told, told you your ass stupid me. ass. You play I, a stupid game. I think I remember you win a that, stupid video prize, motherfucker. that video sounds familiar as fuck for some damn reason. Uh, I don't know why. Because that, that nigga was like, ah, you shot me. Yeah. That's basically how that shit sounded. And they going through the apartment and her trying to walk that nigga out. Well, hey. Gotta go through like the incredible niggas. I got hemp. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have hemp papers now. 
Nigga, get your Kevin ass hey, on. Hey, <laughs> all them shits. Okay, do we have any more what the fuck are people doing? Uh, no. Nope. I, think, I mean, shit. Blade movie got fucking delayed for a little bit longer because the director and all the extra shit, so they delayed it for a little bit. Yeah, but remember, we, uh, we talked about that when they doing, they even rewriting the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? That bitch on pause until fucking further notice, so. That's, Oof. That, that's really what that is. They should have had that under wrap, but I hope that hopefully it ain't too damn long. Hopefully they fix it. I'm not mad with niggas taking breaks and delaying shit if they actually. But not it. Well, wasn't Morbius supposed to be a lead up for that? Hell no, that's Sony. That that ain't got. No, no, no. no. (laughs) It's not Morbin time. No. Wait, so. No. Sony has built their own thing with Morbius. They got their own bad guy. Think they're gonna make Spider Man fight. Yeah. And they said that it may be Tom Holland. Like they, everybody wants to be like Andrew and shit like that. They they said it may even end up being Tom Holland. So you just gotta wait and see. All right, but hey, so uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 done came out. Y'all know, motherfuckers, bitch. You got it, bitch? I, I haven't seen nothing. You yet. got it? No, no, no. I haven't you? seen nothing. I watched nobody play it. How the fuck y'all got an opinion on y'all ain't playing and I got it? I ain't yo, playing yo, with yo. y'all. You didn't even let him finish the headline, Kevin. Exactly. You don't I'm sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> I hit the buzzer like we did. His on social media mode right now. Talk to him, see what's Yeah. Uh... So, a uh, player gets banned on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. He gets banned, goes out, buys the game again, creates a new account, new email, and shit like that. Wait, 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 wait. Buys, an, buys a, another physical copy? Yes. So, they're able to ban the physical copy? No, I think this nigga just dumb as hell. He needs to go back. He needs to get the same same system. You can get banned by IP addresses. So again, yeah. like you, just because you go and get some new shit, everything can be tracked back to uh, how you uh, your internet. Nigga better go get that uh, NordVPN. So, <laughs> nah, but what happens is he goes on, his shit gets banned twice. So now he bad, and motherfuckers are always talking about, oh, I'm gonna go down to the developer and da-da-da. no, this motherfucker pulled up in Austin down at Activision. Now, first of all, bruh, if you from Texas, you should know better. If not, your ass should still fucking know better than not to pull up in any motherfucking Texas resident or business. You know what I'm saying? Because this is Texas. We have guns. <coughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we have guns. Now, I say that, no, he didn't get shot. But it was a good, you know what I'm saying, just letting y'all motherfuckers know. Opportunity for him to get that. shot. Now, that. This, we, we, we faking news. He gets, news pa- he gets <laughs> past one security guard, and that's it. And they him his ass up. To go there, no, he because he wanted the, the shit that you do on the phone when you call and trying to get through to somebody. He's like, oh well, I couldn't get through to anybody, so I'm gonna just go down there and handle the situation myself and try to get some answers. First of all, bro, if your ass got banned like that, you was obviously doing some cheating that they caught. You know what I'm saying? If you got banned, then went and got the shit, repurchased it, created a new email, and they banned <laughs> your ass again. That, yeah, you using some of that cheating software or something, and your shit got hit. So you already in the wrong. Then you choose to take your ass fucking down there and act like they done done something wrong. Like, oh, I need answers. So we so we lying to ourselves now? What people do? Oh, no, I know. I know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, it's, 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 dumb. it's just dumb as hell, bro. Like, you I mean, almost... Like, clearly, you, I mean, you know how many videos I watch of people record themselves doing shit in the wrong and post it online thinking that they're going to get the internet behind them and they're just like nah bitch you clear now yeah, like, it's like yeah, yeah. Like, why it's the attention f- addiction yeah. like, this is my idea yeah cause I'm that nigga attention nah but that's really I don't know they, they can just want to go viral for their attention hopefully they get some money out of some shit yeah. everybody got some get rich quick schemes and when you see it work so often on, online it's like, for the wrong reason. Why not mimic it? I'm just surprised that niggas fucking can sit there and cheat in the game and then decide that they gonna go down there and pull up as if some shit really gonna fucking happen. Like, you know what the fuck you did, fam. That nigga is a victim mentality. That nigga is never around. You slip and fall one word. All right, so, like, imagine wintertime come, right? Slip and fall, hit your head. Where the fuck are our comments at? Oh, God, bro. God, Y'all are not talking. You slip and fall. You slip and fall and you hit your head. When they go to the hospital, all you can say is one phrase. It's a victim mentality. Yep. Nothing wrong with you 
you are perfectly fine. But if you can only say one phrase from now on. <laughs> What's your phrase? Smoke weed every day. It's yours? Mine? You ever watch Slam and Salmon? Have you ever watched that movie Slam and Salmon? No. You guys the dude from Green Mile, the big dude? My little Clark Douglas? He, uh, he's a boxer. And when somebody tries to correct him, he goes, Whatever, motherfucker! <laughs> That's me. Hey, Kevin, you hungry? Whatever, motherfucker! That's gonna be your response, man. Hell yeah! Who said now we gonna get we gonna definitely we gonna definitely go in on that for real there man because I, I definitely got some shit to say on that for like for real for real but uh what was y'all what does what does say that I am okay hold door hold door you for real rock with that what do you get out of it? <laughs> you better be like Rocket, bitch. You better understand the different tones I'm talking. No drive throughs for you. Y'all ever seen the first thing? Yeah. Adam Cameron? Yeah. Why? I'm Tom. You Hey, you hungry? I'm Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know how he gonna get the number seven with cheese, extra dip, large I, soda. I am Hi, group. I'm Tom. I am group. <laughs> I'm Tom. <laughs> I am group. Well, I guess we can write it. I am group. Nigga, how you gonna order number I seven? So you gonna walk up and just be like, smoke weed, nigga? I am group. Like, yes, yeah. yeah, sir. That, that is amazing. How can we help you today? I am so, group. You better hope you don't gotta call the police for accident. <laughs> Now, well, how can I help you smoke, smoke weed, weed every day? day. <laughs> like that. Just like, like that. Sir, you I'm giving them advice. Out. I'm helping them out. <laughs> For real. I'm, hey, y'all want community service? That's my community service right there. And guess what? I ain't even got to wear the motherfucking highlighter vest or nothing like that. Nah. Nah, I'm helping them. I'm helping them out. This nigga. I'm giving free tips. Lucius, I see you, man. Hi, I see you. Right. Yeah, right. All right. You want these Doritos or do you want these uh, pretzels? I am Groot. <laughs> See, yeah, you gonna miss out on a lot of blessings. They gonna think this nigga got a mental issue. What do you gonna miss out on a lot? Like, <laughs> this nigga can drive. <laughs> go. License and registrations. I am Groot. No, no, they gonna be like. Y'all just gonna say y'all think you hear something here. I am Groot! <laughs> it says your name is Isaiah. <laughs> I am Groot! Is that a street name for you, sir? I am Groot. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't even cosplay. I am Groot. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Maybe it's a hair <laughs> thing. Uh, Amy say I want to talk about Resident Evil 4 coming out. Oh, the remake? Uh, most likely. Okay, you're talking about the remake on this. Okay, I did see something. Where it, uh, people are frustrated that the dog that you're able to save at the beginning that's stuck in the bear trap, that option's out of there. Like, that motherfucker's dead from the jump. There ain't nothing you can do about saving that dog. And apparently, that dog. it has a lot of people upset. I mean, that's why I'm like, it's like a CGI dog. So, therefore, it's not like it's not a real dog. And I know it's not a real dog. I don't give a damn. But, yeah, apparently, there's some people really, really upset that they don't get a chance. To save the fucking dog, well, guess what? If zombies were coming and the dog was trapped in a bear trap, you gonna save that <laughs> nope, dog? Nope, I'm going on Okay, my cool. Like I said, fuck that dog. <laughs> Man, you never know what that dog is doing. It's already bleeding. Okay, but not only that, with that freaking leg, you think it's gonna be able to keep up? Motherfucker's running up the roof. He gonna have to let like, he, he, right, well, he, he, well, he gonna have to learn that in about 2.5 seconds. Because them zombies They on your bumper, nigga. And if it's 28 <laughs> days later, he done done. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> the the bitches, 28 them days, bitches run, run. Them motherfuckers were chopping, hopping over cars, doing all of that. 
But yeah, Amy, let us know what you uh, what is it exactly on Resident Evil 4 that you want to talk about because I would definitely love to dive into that. I'm a big fan of the series. Right. I am Drew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually playing the game right now, and I'm actually fucking with the game. Like, I that, feel and see that, and now you're going to understand his ass, ain't you? Because he be on that bitch talking shit. That nigga be yeah. like, I am Drew. Yes, they're, <laughs> a, they're a bigger, they're a big part of the MCU than people like to get them. Like, because I know a lot of people like to focus on Hulk and nothing, but they play a big in the part spaceship. in, like, seriously. The cosmos shit. Yeah, I give you that. Like, you ain't, they're not getting, they're, they don't even get to where they got with Thanos at all. If yeah, it wasn't yeah, for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You needed Rocket for that. You needed Star Lord for that. Thanos needed uh, Gamora. Gamora for that. Like, bro, the Guardians of the Galaxy are freaking hella important, bro. Infinity War was the first one. Infinity War was the first one. Yeah, but you said who the hell was the first one? Rocket and Star Rocket and Star Rocket and Star Lord play a big part. Uh, Gamora, all of them important because Thanos killed Drax people. Groot and Rocket are people, like, and then they all do shit. It's just important. Like that's what's so good about Marvel when niggas want to talk about Marvel getting bad. No, bitch, it's big as fuck. It ain't just seven characters. It's like fucking, um, fucking over a hundred. I'm sorry, you ever play Marvel? Got grown, ass, got grown ass men mad because they don't get to see Hulk the whole damn time. Like, nigga, go oh like, man, I want to see this big swole. That dude, no, give me some bitches. <laughs> like, y'all, like, like I'm, like, I and I don't mean it like body. that, like in a derogatory way. But y'all know what the hell I'm saying, though, like. Get, understood that that's a big ass universe, and one thing that Marvel does, bro, that I like, they had there, there is no demographic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They go, they give you, they give you your teenagers, all the way up to your elder folks in there. As yeah. far as far as the characters in there, a lot of their characters, you got teenage characters, you got middle adult characters, you got motherfucking uh, middle aged. You know what I'm saying? You got fucking senior citizen characters. Like you got a lot of freaking generations in it, so that's why that shit always bugs me when fans try to bitch about it. I got pants my on it. My jacket is my car, and it feels pretty good in here because that fucking PC is a goddamn heater. <laughs> Man, yeah, we pretty toasty here. On top of that, we got that and an Xbox on. Oh, yeah, nigga, we feeling good. And it ain't yeah. really that cold out. Who said we need a heater? Uh, <laughs> do you hear me? Yes, y'all, we won't try to stay sipping with us as well because at the end of the podcast, we're going to be whooping each other's ass. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna jump in our pile like some Mortal Kombat and shit like that, and then maybe do your say depending on how the time goes. But we're gonna be jumping it off with some Mortal Kombat, whooping each other's ass, all that. So y'all stay sipping with us because we got gaming coming up once the podcast is done. By saying that, y'all, let's go ahead and talk about it. Check us. Yes. So we woke up to this Monday. Yeah. Yep. I think so. Yeah, Halloween day. I woke okay. up. I woke up for about. How'd you find out? Five thirty. Six o'clock in the morning. How'd you find out? Went to go use the restroom. On your phone, right? Yeah, turned up on my phone, looking at Boom, first thing you saw. Hell yeah, I was like, nigga, get the fuck out of here. Took a minute to process, right? No, I seen it. And, but also grew up at a time where people, docs, people died. And they ain't really dead. Exactly. So that, so, with those, that, and that's what made me go and start, like, as soon as I saw, like, when I woke I up like, and I hit my alarm. Let me see, like, three or more, four articles. Exactly. And so and I, I saw, like, once I saw, once I saw TMZs, I was like, okay, damn. Right? No, like, I'll that tell you was, what, that one, that one hit me because TMZ, they get it as big as, as big as they are, they're easily, uh, uh they easily could be hit with, like, slander or defamation. So the stuff that they put out there has to have some type of confirmation so, to it. You know so I, I read that online, and the first thing I do is I go to Reddit. First thing I do, open it up. Reddit right said talk louder. Vi- video proof. I I go and I click a link, look at the video, and I'm like, yeah, that nigga dead, B. Like, he gone. Like, and try to pick him up and try to move him. The lady's like, I'm a nurse, put him down. And I was like, yo. What's up? We asked if the music so, was right. Like, Y'all said we was good. What's going on? I mean, cause what? I don't want to. I really don't want to yell the whole time. No, I want to be able. Yeah, yeah. I want to be able. Amy, I like that. I like DC I too. Oh, you can't see it. Damn it. Never mind. 
This is the flash you want. Okay, that's so. Yeah, nah, it was, it was, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, but it was like over a but, dice game. Nah, but so I'm saying it's not. It was saying over. it was Quavo trying to mediate some shit. Either way, at the end of the day, bro. Look, Quavo got his ass hit on dice. Quavo yeah. start running Man, his mouth. Man, that to shit is other relevant, people. though. They start getting into it. His own partner pulled out the gun. They say Takeout got up because he didn't even know what the fuck was going on. As soon as he got up, yeah, his own partner shot his ass on accident two times. How the fuck you shoot him two times? He got shot in the neck and in the torso. Either way, none of that shit is fucking relevant. Whether it's over a dice game or whether it's fucking not over a dice game, niggas can't fight no more. And then it's like, shit, even then, y'all got too much money to be doing and hanging in these type of areas, and I ain't even trying to put the blame on bro, because apparently bro was chilling. It's fucked up, because bro humble, bro be chilling, <laughs> take off, don't ever be in the fucking news and shit. Oh, right. reality, that's all why all it's really fucked up. Out of all the Migos, that nigga take off was calm, cool, collected, quiet one, you know what I'm saying? And he was hard with the music, too. Came, came smooth. I've been rocking with them boys since about 10 years now. They jumped off the post. And that shit's just sad, bro, because they, they, they had a big-ass effect in the rap game. Nigga, don't get me wrong. Them niggas, what? Once they took off, nigga, it sounded like everybody wanted to sound like Nico. And that's like... You know what I'm saying? That, and a lot of niggas did copy their style, but one thing that I do notice, though, bro, folks love to do that. With, like, whatever is the main thing popping, bro, that's the style that niggas copy. Yeah. Like right now, bro, everybody's everybody's coming with the, you know what I'm saying, everybody's sounding like Dolph, Moneybag, Yo, and everything like that. Like, you know what I'm saying, you're starting to see a lot of niggas have that voice and that tone, but you're not wrong, though. Like, them niggas, and I told you, I wasn't even fucking with them like that at first. Like, I couldn't even rock with the shit at first. It was like, that was like, mumble shit to me at first, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you can't you can't discredit the impact that they had on the game, the influence that they had on the game, you know what I'm saying, and the success that they had. So, yeah, bro, it's, like, for me, though, I look at it like niggas just being stupid. Like, what he's saying, like, the fact that niggas can't fight, number one, the fact, bro, I don't give a fuck what your education is. I don't care how much money you got. Yeah, None of that shit means nothing, bro, with, like... Motherfuckers is stupid out here, bro. Like, you can't even sit... You, to where you can't... Even, motherfuckers can't even talk to each other because y'all want to sit there and get on some rah-rah shit and feel like y'all got some shit to prove want to clout chase on some shit and y'all already know how it go. Especially you celebrity-ass niggas. I understand having folks around you who gonna have your back and make sure you don't get caught up in no shit. But you also gotta have motherfuckers around you who ain't gonna do no dumb shit to get you caught up in some dumb shit when you got shit to fucking lose. You are, if any, any motherfucker from the street already know how this shit go. You sit there, you start going back and forth. A bitch-ass nigga who can't fight, first thing he gonna do, he gonna go and pull his shit out thinking he about to scare somebody because, oh, I'm the nigga with the strap. Boom. Uh, Just like that, you realize you ain't the only nigga strapped in that bitch. And guess what? Really ain't nobody it. backing down after that, and now everybody about to take a fucking L, bro. Because the nigga that was really on it, the minute he see your shit, he don't even care no more. Yo ass got Exactly. You. Exactly. You know like, I got you too much fuck money to be at this dice game. I'd rather be at a casino. That, like... I uh, that's a slippery slope talk. But right also at the same extent. time, I also feel like I'm not. But we can't. A... But we can't tell celebrities that they just can't go. And that's true. I lie. feel like you know that. But then my, my my mentality would be at that point in time with my amount of money that I would have if I was in his shoes. Yeah. I'm not about to be riding w with nobody or around people that got less to lose than me. But because that, that just that's what I'm saying. Nah. This shit is one thing I don't <laughs> like about the internet. This type of shit. And What's going on, Perry? Pull up. It's oi oi mate. It's a sailor. Like respect to even have to approach this shit. Right. Because one, like, they grown as fuck. You can't tell niggas where to go. Everybody can try to give advice, blah 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 blah, bro, but you don't I agree, know what the Rachel, fuck is I agree. Gonna, you don't know really what the fuck is gonna happen, when it's gonna happen at any point. Nigga, they were good. They done did that shit before. Right. When you doing shit that you normally do, it's not something, you know what I'm saying? So, B and B went to go get something to eat. Do you hear me? You know what so I'm saying? So it's like now. Like, can't even go get nothing to eat now. The internet really the worst people with this shit, because not everybody trying to be first on who got the story and who he got the He went to go get shit. something to eat, but guess where he went to go get something to eat at? What? At like fucking no fly zone. Fuck all that. I don't care. That shit's irrelevant. It ain't no such thing. Yeah. But niggas talking about no fly zones and shit they don't own. 
You know what I'm saying? That shit dumb as fuck. I ain't trying to hear all that shit. But you, you, there's, we, you said you figured that, that shit out. Five o'clock in the morning. The shit wasn't probably too long after the shit happened. How the fuck did his family find out? You see what I'm saying? They got to see fucking videos on Instagram and fucking Facebook and fucking TikTok and shit. Exactly. And they fucking that's, love on stress that's out the, on the shit, bro. That's the shit that motherfuckers that ain't taking into account, bro. bro. That, like, that's the shit that pissed me shit. off. And it's like, now you niggas, you, you niggas first pull out, now everybody pulling out a phone and shit. But nobody knows what the fuck happened, though. Calling the street code next to shit. I'm from the hood, bro. I know how it fucking go. But still, at the same time, nobody know who the fuck did it. Nobody, it ain't no, we ain't hear none of that shit. But every nigga willing to post a video to get their likes up, to get their views up. I was there. Shit. I was a witness. I saw it. I saw it. Then who the fuck did it then, nigga? You want to come that motherfucker? That's the thing. If you going to not say nothing like that, then I don't need to see your video. Mo3, I don't need to. Mo3, 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 Mo3 got shot in Dallas. 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 He yeah, got shot hold in on. Actually, and actually, and to be real with you, I'm going to go yeah, ahead and put that right. shit actually like really. No, and I don't. And to keep it real with you on that, like, bro, please, please get your facts right when you speak on that shit because right now, it's my motherfucking relative who's locked up on that shit as the motherfucker who like real nigga shit, bro. So like, bro, please, please get your shit right when you talk about that, fam. Cause like that shit is super, super. That's what I'm saying, bro. Y'all never know how close shit is. Is this world small as fuck? This world is small as fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it and niggas do it dumb shit. And trust me, and trust me, this same shit that I'm saying right now, I done had with my motherfucking Kimfo. You know what I'm saying, nigga? You don't get no props from me for the shit that you fucking did, bro. Like nigga, like none of that shit, none of that shit, dog. And, and, and motherfuckers and y'all niggas want y'all niggas quick to get on social media and quick to talk about some shit, but don't want to talk about some shit. Nah, nigga, don't go fucking halfway. If you gonna put one foot in, nigga, then your other foot need to follow right behind that hoe. But as soon as you start doing shit like this, every nigga on social media a journalist now. Everybody, everybody got the scoop now. Every, oh my source is this, Shut, nigga. You a regular ass nigga, bro. Like, and, and I, you know what's crazy? And they do it every time. And I ain't, like, finna flaunt on niggas and flex on niggas that do it to an extent. Because like bro said, he been, he, I know he knows certain rappers before they ever even get mainstream and shit. So if that's how you fucking with niggas, cool. But bro even said it in his last Drink Champ shit. Travis Lynch, appreciate that like, man. Pull up, bro. He even said it in the last little Drink <laughs> Champ interview. And it's always crazy niggas have interviews right before some shit like this happens. My flowers. He was like, it's about time to give him his flowers now before he gone. Because don't nobody, he, he can't do nothing with him when he gone. So all this shit, I get it. You grieving, do what you got to do. It just, it feels super fake. I'm seeing niggas go straight to the internet after, you, after your buddy died. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck are you on the internet after your partner dying shit? Like, that shit kind of weird to me. Because, because from anybody, if you done really lost, number one, if you done really lost somebody, just regular life at all, you already know, nigga, that's the last fucking thing. Like, when that shit hits you, the, my phone is the last thing I'm on. And when I lost my papa, bro, motherfuckers barely talked to me for three months. Like, I didn't say shit, bro. I was fucking done. And then if you done lost a partner or some shit like that, bro, Hey, I'm sorry. I'm getting mad, and I want to fire every nigga up who posted a video and done everything, especially if y'all up there doing that shit before that shit got that back shit. to me Man. and my fam and shit, bro. You know how disrespectful you niggas is when Nipsey got killed, bro. As soon as that shit went down, all you disrespectful ass niggas on the motherfucking internet and shit talking about, oh, nigga, Illuminati this and all this other bullshit, and what the fuck did I have to do? Now, I ain't trying to sit here and talk because I'm a, I'm a fucking nobody. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't So I ain't trying to sit here like I'm fucking... This and that, but I went and I did I because I was still we were still doing the podcast at that time. Yeah, and I went out there and I'm telling niggas, bro, before I even hear anything from, I got people in Cali. So before I even hear from them, I'm sitting there telling people like, yo, like what we saying, y'all sit back and shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? They family I ain't even dry they fucking face yet, and y'all motherfuckers already starting with rumors and all this other bullshit. Like, oh, some street hey, shit. Hey. Doing that shit that y'all doing right there would get all you motherfuckers, like, out of there. And what started happening? When that niggas started doing that shit in Cali, and motherfuckers were roaming the streets on that shit. And I even brought somebody on the fucking live, and they talked about it. And was something like, yeah, it's fucking wild out here right now. Like, everybody's locked down. Like, I can answer your question. What are you talking Quincy. about? He said, do we call them the Migos still? Do we call them like that? Quincy, I can answer your question with a question. You got a rock band. Somebody in that rock band dies. 
Do you still call that rock band by their name? Or do you call them by separate? You have Travis Barker, whatever his name is, so and so. Or do you still call them the what's it called? You feel what I'm saying? The what's it called? Blink 182. That, 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 that was just a, 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 you know, an example. They still blink 182. I mean, even if so, I got introduced to Travis Barker by his I, I, rap I, I, album. I, I, that's not the point, though. That's not well, what I'm talking about. I'm just asking. I mean, but are the Migos even together? I mean, they're all set. Regardless of nigga, the Migos are always gonna be the Migos. Yeah, they gonna be the Migos. If you look up that shit, it's the Migos. Like I, it, and it, I don't like niggas digging into this shit because bro, they family for real. Yeah. So all this shit. Oh, well now Offset moves. Shut the fuck Y'all up, Y'all don't bro. know these niggas Shut like that. Like up, seriously, bro. for That's real. As fuck, you bro, ain't, you know? bro. You ain't lying. Niggas get so caught up in they fandom. These niggas, they be talking like they be riding with them every day. And I'm like, bro, y'all don't understand how disrespectful y'all been. Why you sitting here thinking you riding for them? If they were sitting right here in your that face, they smack the shit out your ass. Man. Like, oh, on God, bro. Like, motherfuckers need to kind of, hey, wifey, what's going on? Oh, that was a thousand. Oh, yeah. Bro, wifey told us a thousand stars. A, 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 a. There we go. There we go. Hell yeah. So that, that's what I think, bro. And this is and this is what really lets me know, like, bro, shit like this that we going through on social media. And I'll wrap it up before we pull up on the next topic because I know we got other shit to do. Oh, God. This, is why, this is why I put... When I came back to Dallas, bro, this is part of the reason why I put my street shit down, bro. As far as like, as far as like my gang banging and shit like that, because I already saw with the way culture was going, bro. Motherfuckers ain't really about that shit like that, bro. They really aren't, and you can tell just by how to just look at how motherfuckers are moving now. Whether it's the social media, where it's the motherfuckers who at the incident did nobody at that fucking incident handle that shit like a real ass nigga, and the one who did is the one we lost. That's bullshit, bro. That shit, but y'all niggas want to claim y'all real, y'all OGs, this, shut that. Yo, shut the fuck up with that shit, because trust me, and it's obvious, y'all don't know what the fuck that means. Yep, very much so. That shit, don't uh, think Amy, Amy says earlier, she said she can't wait for the... Mario movie. Yep, she said she can't wait for the Mario movie, and they was in there talking about what we were talking about. Okay, okay. all right. Now, we could pull up on this right here. Uh... And this, and this was on, on a lighter note, but it's still a bit, uh, it's still real as well. I want to talk about, uh, you hear a lot of people talking about alpha male and shit like that. Like, motherfuckers talking about, oh, I'm alpha, I'm alpha this. And I feel like there's a big, I bet, see, this, here he go, here he go. But if there's, you know, there's a positive, but there also seems to be a negative connotation when it, you know what I'm saying? When okay. people say it, like, when motherfuckers be like, oh, I'm an alpha, for some reason, people's mindset is that, can't have two alphas in the same place or you can't have two alphas okay and i feel like that's a big misunderstanding when it comes to that i don't look like because, jj bitch because a real because al- i'm telling you like this a real alpha and like in my eyes a real alpha at the same time is a real man as well and when when you when you convert when you I'm talk with you- different spectrums Which way? oh shit kevin done been converted to the woke shit we're on a spectrum no, no I mean, like, no, what's up? <laughs> he did the R thing and everything. No, that was gonna no, lie. I mean, like, so I feel like what some people consider being a man, other people be like, no, nah, that's just considered being a grown up. You know what I mean? You just that, taking your. Okay, not, but see, but that's people, that's, but that shit, that's something that's simple that people try to make complicated for no damn reason. I trying, agree. To, trying to split hair. No, it's a clear fucking definition. It's straight up. Like, when motherfuckers trying to be, oh, what's being real? Being real is straight up. But it's, 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 it's straight. It ain't no gray area when it comes to being Same thing when it comes to being a man, bro. What, my whole thing is, what's the team goal? If we got the team goal, you make more money this year than me? Okay, cool, bees. I'm not about to be you know, sour. But that's not, know, but that's not the way that I'm, that's not the way that I'm attacking it, though. You know I'm not saying that you are. You know what's so basic and why I don't like the term and why I hate half of the fucking content creators that use it? Because it's so fucking basic, fam. We not wolves. We not gorillas. We not what's called it. Our minds have developed a little bit further past that. Our civilization is way further past motherfucking uh, a alpha and a beta and a omega and all that extra shit. There's I disagree. Never, no, it, hear me out, though. Go ahead. There's never one motherfucker in charge. Unless, like, yeah, of course, you, you got, like, a, a fucking business and shit. But even to that extent, 
they're still never one motherfucking no, in charge. That and that's where I agree. That because that because that's what that's actually where I'm going. Where that traditional mindset that people have of right. the alpha just being that one, that's out the door. Because think of go to go to Migos. Let's, let's go to them who we was just talking about. Who's those were, those no those were three alphas right there. Right. All three of them. And guess what? They listened to each other. They worked as a team. That's and right. they fucking succeeded. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what the way they why. The niggas know how to fucking communicate. Yeah. You ain't sitting there tripping on dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit works. And that's the that's the misconception that I think people have now where they feel like, oh, to be alpha, I ain't got to listen to nobody. Alphas can't work together. Nah, that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah the fuck we can. You, shit, you think, hey, you think a motherfucker going to be able to tell him he ain't one? Think a motherfucker going to be able to tell me I ain't one? And the thing, the thing is, I don't, need Kevin, nobody, I don't need nobody to tell me I'm one. The, do you hear me? The, the thing is, though, at the same time, the, the sign of a good leader is being able to follow at the same time. Bam, there you and go. so if you can't tell the difference between, like, oh, man, oh, blah, and, and just knowing to take the right leadership, because being able to take the right leadership shows that you wise as fuck, because it's like, shit, you ain't got to know everything. Everybody don't know everything. So it's like, I bet. I don't know half the shit about streaming. Y'all see me be going that bitch going crazy and shit. When this nigga tell me something to do, I ain't bet we can do that shit. My fucking cunt try to hit me up. Hey, nigga, do do snoop. I ain't bet I'm finna do that because I don't fucking know. But as I figure it out, niggas ain't finna tell me I ain't doing my shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still gonna keep learning what the fuck it is. But bitch, that don't mean I ain't no fucking out. You can't tell me shit, bitch. I'll kick you in your nuts. What's the tip of saying? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they moving right now. Let's see. Now we don't need to tell anyone here, Alpha, that is very right, Perry. Sweet meat. Y'all can drop them emojis, the candy meat emojis, drop them sweet meat emojis in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Let's, all they need is a common ground. True. You know what I'm saying? One to two alpha people getting common ground. That's really easy. Uh, lots of pack of animals have multiple alphas involved in the hierarchy of the pack. And Travis Litch, I would believe, I would agree that that is very true. Because, I mean, you, it's going to take a motherfucker. You can't run a community by one person. Exactly. Like, it's just, it, just don't, it just don't work. Oh, that's the, is that the hazelnut? Is that the hazelnut fucking uh, emojis right there? Oh, the fucking... <laughs> I think that's the hazelnut eggs. <laughs> I didn't know you had some emojis, too. Yeah, Kevin, man. oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> you couldn't just give me, like, the light-skinned nigga emoji? <laughs> Y'all see that oh, shit. Oh, when Rihanna pulled up on Star, she said, praise up for all of us who lost someone irreplaceable. So oh, yeah. Out of them. So appreciate I miss it. My auntie, my oh, grandma, the mom. Even though I just recently lost my cousin, Monty. All okay. right. Hey, let's get to some of these uh, slipper topics. Uh, the, what? Quick, the, what? the what? The what? The what? The what? The slipper topics. The what? The slipper? The Swiffer yeah, All right, like, like Swiffer, Swift Jet. My nigga Elmer Fudd. My nigga Elmer Fudd in this bitch. I forgot that was Swiffer Fudd. I'm fucking laughing. Don't stand up. You said Elmer Fudd, my dumb ass almost went to Swiffer. If a mind reader and a future senior player game of chess, who would win? If a what? If a mind reader and a future seer played a game of chess, who would win? The future seer. Mind reader. Future seer would know he's losing. Yeah, he's gonna know he's gonna lose regardless. And no, the future seer. Wait, 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 wait. This is he can see the future, but can he change it? Yeah, and and that's what I was gonna say. So the future seer is gonna have a complicated time trying to win because if he can see the multiverse of shit, he can see multiple. uh, He can see multiple. Thank you. But the mind reader is gonna know. No, but 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 as he's looking into those futures, the mind reader can entail also see those futures. Cause right, but I can mind. give you fake thoughts, though, as the mind reader. No, but that depends on how strong ah, his mind is. He said playing chess, right? Yeah. See, now, nah, see, I don't know what chess y'all be playing, but we ain't on that bullshit. We talking about a mind reader and a future seer. Them motherfuckers on the clock. Sorry, Willie and Smokey. Them motherfuckers on the clock. So, so guess what? Like whoever moves that, faster, that's the whoever future, future seer. He ain't gonna have all that time like Dr. Strange and all that motherfuckers can do all that balls. shit. He got like five, he can probably you, hit you know what what time You got a limited amount of time for you to do all that shit. Nah, guess what? I'm gonna be a step ahead of your ass the whole way. Reading it because he, the whole, shit, the whole time the you way. think, because the whole time you ain't, he ain't even got a time limit on how long he can read you. He just sitting there reading your shit. The I'm whole going time future thinking. seer. You going future seer? Yep. Nigga, that's some fucking anime on the cool. That, that shit could be so fucking suspenseful. Being that bitch, he was like, ha, he's gonna do this. Mind reader. He was like, ha, I thought he was gonna do this. Right. <laughs> that, 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 that whole season will be thrown. Uh, 
That whole season yeah, be throwing get through anime, one though. game. It gotta be anime. No, no cartoon. I want no, anime. No, 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 no. Anime, you have to because you have to, you can be able to sell all the dramatics on the face and the yeah, thoughts and shit yeah, like that. Scenes. Heck yeah, bro. I got like Yu-Gi-Oh, nigga, the same way you activated my trap card, nigga. That bro, nigga. I'm gonna <laughs> okay. have your, I'm gonna have your attention the whole season on one game. Watch, any of y'all ever watch Kuroko's basketball? Yes. I've seen like I've started I've, I've started okay. I've, I've seen like three or four episodes of it. Okay, I finished that bitch. Okay. And so I'll say that after I watched that, going back and then going to watch the NBA, oh uh, nigga is so fucking hilarious. That Milky Way? No. I think that's sticker though. You got Twix? Not you get Milky Way back. Boy, you sound like your gut sticking out. I <laughs> think say I take it. Oh, no, no one can have my Twix. No one can have my Twix. Uh, <laughs> you broke that nigga heart now. Lucia say it takes a village to raise a child, is what they used to say. Travis Lynch says, and the term alpha implies there are multiple individuals involved that are important to the survival of said alpha. They can't do it alone, no matter how powerful. Okay. James Novak with that light. Perry talking shit. Appreciate it. Very, very quiet. I'm hunting alpha. <laughs> he talking about you because he said swoop. Uh. <laughs> you say, I tried. You say be very, very quiet. You I want tried. my Twix. You can't get my Twix. Man. Slug class, slug class. I got to stay away from that. Things are like Pepsi and shit. The B-Man wants oh, something. Oh, yeah. James, no bet. Back with the sheriff. Sure. Hey. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Turn the lights. What's going on? James no back with the shit and the like what? James no back with the shit and the like. I'm probably y'all beat, but that's alright. Hey, probably y'all beat, but that's alright. Shit and the like. Hey, we're gonna get back to these motherfucking topics and shit though. Oh, 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 nah, what the sippers had real quick. Yeah. Real quick before we get to these. So, um, my man Danny asked about Ime Udoka. The dude who got the coach. He got who hired on to be the, the head coach for the Boston. What do you mean, Brooklyn Nets? For Brooklyn Nets, yeah. Yeah, because Steve Nash stepped down. Um, oh, so he finna go get them Brooklyn homes? No, they finally took Kevin <laughs> Kevin Durant's advice. <laughs> he said Steve Nash has resigned, though. Part of Ways Mutual. Yeah, because he was like, fuck that shit. He don't want to coach. Think about that life. He said, uh, Titan asked, do you consider the latest violence a major blow to the rap game? No. I think the way that people, I think the media. What's the words and favorite words of Cameron? Niggas die every day. Be, no, 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 no. I didn't want to mean that. But I think the media is perpetrating. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you, you, oh, you set me up for some bullshit. You said it to a bear trap for real. <laughs> I didn't say it. He did. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to get it. Perpetrating and making it like there's a few documentaries that I think we should dive into on some streams one time. <coughs> Ooh, uh, talking about documentaries. Yeah, that they they that talks it's about way. the way hip hop is being fucking has always been marketed and what made when it started changing from in, like the inspirational and more introspective. That's the word I was looking for. Music into what it is today, and it makes a lot of sense, especially when you really pay attention to the big. The big picture of what's mainstream and what's out there, it's, man, it, it, it's real skeptical. So, yeah, that, that's all I can say about that. It ain't really changed, though. Violence has been violence. There's violence in everywhere, bro. Violence like, outsells it's, it's, everything it's, else, though. That's why it outshines the positive. But that, that's, that's propaganda is what I would say. I would say it's propaganda because you got proof behind it. Even now, how many positive rappers are there that don't get shine because no, they I'm get? Saying, look, the propaganda is that they forcing the violence on them, mm-hmm. and, and at the same time, they, for, they forced it so much. We've gotten it so deep into the transition that even the fans, bro, are desensitized here, to it. No, I wouldn't even hear. say it's just violence that 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 point because you got at women's standpoint, they got. Women got what? Sorry, I'm burping. I'm only, I'm only recite the video that I've seen. It's crazy, it's not my viewpoint. Yeah, yeah, but it's you know they got women look up to Cardi B and you know all these little kids look up to Cardi B. But see, but that's and they it. got them saying certain things. So at some point in time, but you know it's crazy. No, I just, I just, I just the sex part of it. they're doing the same thing that they're doing with the violence on the sex I'll side. Say, of it. To that point, because she has better. Music. But that's always been a thing for America and people in general. But that no, I'm saying that's the but that's hip hop. 
Because in other, in other, no, in other, even in pop, Britney in other, Spears. In other genres, they sell love. They sell different shit. They sell now. Sometimes, yeah, you're right. They sell drugs and other shit like that. But they're not selling violence in pop music. No, but they're selling sex to an extent. Yeah. Fuck out of here, Katy Perry. I guess it, it's, it's, it's written a lot. Lady Gaga. It's written a lot differently than how they are allowing. The way that they write their stuff, bro. They write their shit in a way to where, guess what? You go hear that shit on fucking. Uh, like you can hear their shit on Monday Night Football. It's not as they're uh, not playing Flick of the Wrist on motherfucking Monday Night Football. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I get that. That point, I get Woo. what y'all saying. So, but they offer, but at the same time, I hear it at my job, hey, bro. Go back to at, at the job. How many times they be they won't let us go through there and play what the fuck we listen to? But if you listen to the intercom and to what they saying, man, you talking about fucking that bitch dirty. He's yep. talking about crystal meth. If you really break down the songs, but it's all about how Back you write day. it and how you know what I'm saying being subtle. With that's it. always that's the one thing the old folks hated about rap. Y'all don't sugarcoat shit. You just talk about fucking a bitch on the dance floor. But, and, and well, yeah, of course, Grandma, because I don't want to talk about. I said it too. Y'all was just talking in code. We exactly. Code. Bitch, I don't want to talk in pig Latin. What's, what's that one song, Watermelon Sugar High? What, what that song was uh, made about? Uh, I heard it was made about getting bad, top. Bad bands with the Young Ocean. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Body Works, that's what I said. No, the electric slide was on the dildo. We got better. We did talk about that on Thursday. That's more of my wrestling Move stuff. to the left. To get down Three hops this time. Travis Legend. One more, one more. Dan Snyder. Oh, Snyder. So, like, oh, so it came out today. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a fee guy. No, 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 no. Dan Snyder, <laughs> it came out today. Like, he was thinking about, he, he put to the banks that he was selling his, thinking about selling his shit, seeing what he could get for it. And then, nigga, I swear to God, I took about a 20 minute walk with my son around the block. And I came back. I was on my way home. I no, no, no. Got the alert. I looked. Federal probe into the Washington Commanders. And I was like, oh! Nigga, now I see why you were so quick to try to sell your team, bitch. You got the FBI on your bumper, motherfucker. So, like, yeah, he, he might be into some shit. So, I don't know. They made it hot. <laughs> you just, y'all didn't see that, though? The FBI was at, after them? Nah, bro, I don't really pay attention to sports. <laughs> but now, Lucy, yes, they probably was fired behind the scene, but as far as what they came out, they said mutually parted ways, so they'd agreed to separate or whatever like I thought, that. Uh, I thought you were talking about this Dan Snyder that did iCarly and had a foot fetish. Oh, no, I'm talking about <laughs> Dan Snyder, iCarly. Oh, no, you talking about, oh, you talking about, uh, you talking about the Washington The Washington Commanders, Commanders. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he talking about the football and then I was like, oh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know about going to jail, but honestly, I don't really care about the franchise. Uh, they should have been done got him out as an owner. And they doing that now because they already know about the backlash that it's going to bring on the other owners if they keep that motherfucker in there and he start dropping all that fucking tea and spilling all that motherfucking tea that he knows. Because let's be real, being an owner in the league as long as he has 25 plus years, you got dirt on fucking everybody. everybody? So you got to get that motherfucker everybody. out of there. That way you can protect the other 30 something owners in there. Because I if you not. you want to keep them there, then that's. Nah, it. fuck that. You think I'm going to have this motherfucker up in so he can hang something over my head? Hell no, nah, I ain't nobody's bitch. Get your ass out of there. Guess what? Your bank account will be straight. You be all right. Nah, we got this. You know, we, we got I just made a reference to that. Here you are making a double reference back to it. <laughs> nah, I'm getting you. be all right. I'm just, I, yo, your yo, bank account be all right. Just like Donald Sterling. Out of there. <laughs> Phoenix Suns on it. Out of there. Got me fucked up. Quincy, how do y'all <laughs> feel about the new Evil Dead that's coming out next year? Were they majority owners? Okay, if you told on that, if you're talking about they're continuing from the last movie that came out, yes. cool. If they're talking about doing another freaking reboot, I don't honestly. I'm already they're already off to a bad start with me. If you're talking about doing like who's involved? Is Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi? I don't think Sam Raimi is involved. But I, think, I figure I think if Bruce Campbell maybe. But if Bruce Campbell was involved though, with him being involved in the last one, you would want to pick up where you are. Like, why would you go some like you? Cause now, granted, you can have that move somewhere else yeah. to somebody else. Because I don't think like nobody made it in there. So, of course, you are gonna have a new cast of people. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like, 
I don't know. Just I don't. I just don't want to act like when this one comes out that the previous events from the last remake that we oh, saw it, didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just don't. Don't even, even re canon and shit and leave shit that's already canon out. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like maybe even if it's like a little flashback or where y'all find the book or something like that to be a little callback or something, I'd be cool with that. You said it's called Evil Dead Rise, but haven't heard much about it. Huh. You know what? Origin. If this is Evil Dead Rise, if Bruce Campbell's in that, I'm wondering if he's gonna play. I wonder if they're going the Army of Darkness. I'm gonna be the origin. No, but I'm thinking if it's if it's an origin, then that's gonna be an old ass motherfucking movie. Like a prequel. Uh, like that's gonna be an old. I'm talking about as far as the time period. Right. Yeah. That's gonna be an old ass movie. But uh, fuck. I, oh no no. I, I with just hearing Evil Dead Rise, I feel like Army of Darkness. With just the Evil Dead name on it, because it right now I'm just yeah. hearing that I hear Bruce Campbell with the chainsaw on his fucking arm. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but as he's old right now, kind of like Ash versus the Evil Dead TV show, but in movie form, I'm more serious than yeah. the comical shit. Right, right, right. Do you remember the John Look Look What Zemo zombie movie? He said, from what I googled, Bruce is producing it, but it's talking about two sisters. Okay. You got me. You got me. You got me because that's different. Especially if they're doing some type of like twin connection type thing or whatever. Uh -huh. That's going to be dope because if one gets freaking contaminated by the book, how it's going to mind fuck the other one just because of that connection that twins got. Oh, yup. 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 That sounds nice. Yup. That. Yup. Yes, it does. I'm sold already. I'm sold already. Okay. Hold up. Now, John Liquidato. What you talking John about? John Leguizamo. There we go. John Liquidato. That's my question. He said, you remember that zombie movie with John Leguizamo? What did John Luigi do? No, it was just a zombie movie. That was really good. But the zombies actually got smart. Oh. Huh. Oh, hold on. I think I know what you're talking about. Because one of the motherfuckers the main, the main did the main one. Black, a black dude. Yeah, and he go over there and that motherfucker <laughs> get up and he actually goes and like picks up the gun, bro. And yeah. like cocks that bitch and everything. No, I know what, oh, I cannot remember the. One? Was it newer or was it old? It's an old movie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But that, oh, I had it on a modern oh, Xbox. I thought you were talking about that Zack Snyder shit that they did with Batista. Fuck, I came across it on fucking too. accident because it was when I was going through my zombie fucking craze on everything. It was before I got zombie fatigued. That I uh, can't, I don't know the fucking name of the movie though, but I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, he just wanted to say you. Oh. Yeah, talking about zombies. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, oh shit, okay. I'm random, man. Bro, oh, hold up. Oh shit, bro. We all do some random shit around this bitch. I will, all right. Feel us in on these shroom stories. I want to know shroom stories. Sippers. Or should I say, let the sippers know about the shroom story because I was here experiencing the shit with. Just by saying that, I feel like they took their, the only piece of lore that they're using is the book, uh -huh. and they're just throwing that bitch somewhere. But I mean, when it says give birth to demons, what is possessing somebody, right? So it's what like I feel death like, with zombies. It's, it's about to hit the whole apartment complex. You know what I think of when I see this? Remember when you pull up the uh, remember when you pull up the Gerald to do your missions on GTA? Yeah. And shit, you know how you got the alley and then you walk through on his shit. Yeah. That's the type of apartment complex I'm picturing when they talk about LA. April 21st, 2023 is the release date. So that means they're already working on that bitch. Oh, yeah, so we should start seeing shit soon. Yeah, but I, I don't know how to feel about that. I'm going to wait to see the trailer on that. Is it the Fallout picture? Yes. What you think? Yes. Yes. I've been, people, yeah, I'm, yes. I asked you last podcast why I asked them. Not because, not because even when we even when they showed the first glimpses of it when we first talked about it, I was like, that shit's on the fucking money. Because the detail to me, I was telling a co-worker this. The detail I feel like is uh, you know, when you go to the first of all, who played Fallout 4 before I even explain this? Because I gotta know how to fucking Fallout play. 4. That's a new one, right? Yes. I quit. 
Not Fallout 76 online multiplayer shit. I have not played. played a oh, the one before that. that. I never played a Fallout game. Yeah, never, okay. Wait, 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 hold on. So you got three, then you got New Vegas, then you got four, and then you got 76, right? Okay, yes, I played four. Okay. So, uh, well, there's a spot on there where... Uh, I don't know if you ever went out there to the outdoor drive to the drive in. Yep. That was out there with the big movie theater screen outside. And then you got like the little, I guess, I don't know, I guess where you get your concession and ticket shit. It looked like a little gas station and yep, shit. Yep, 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 the yep. first picture that I fucking saw, bro, it looked like they nailed that bitch, bro. Like it looked every. So it's every after day. Fallout 4. Like it, like the, that game. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the way the wasteland atmosphere is there. They hit is you. Is what okay. I'm saying. Yeah, the wasteland atmosphere is there enough. For so that if, to be if, if so, side note, if you were to pick a Fallout to be made, which game would you want to see? Fallout New Vegas, because I feel like Fallout New Vegas, bro, cinematically that hole would fucking hit. Now you, you have you read the, the the backstory about New Vegas? What do you mean talk about the whole deal with Obsidian and uh, it was supposed Bethesda to be now? a it was supposed to be DLC. Yeah, to but then, three. Yeah, but then they messed around and broke it off to its own game because uh, Could you imagine all that DLC on one game? I wouldn't want that because that would have made Fallout Three ass. That would have put Fallout New Vegas and Fallout Three as DLC would have made Fallout Three ass. All because of the way the game ends where once you're done with the game you can't go back and redo anything. You're I right. I, I really fucking that. hated that. That would have fucked that whole. That would have fucked that whole series up. But no, what, what, you gotta Google your short stories. Oh no, nah, he said something about Bruce Campbell shirt first look two days ago. So I was looking it up. Oh, oh shit. Okay, well then, damn. Um, um but I need that link. Shrimmies. Um, these motherfuckers. It was a great experience, an eye-opening experience. Hey, Sonic, how you doing? You was there with me, you know what I'm saying? He was there with me. He fell asleep on me. I um, was there on the astral plane with you, buddy. Speaking of astral plane. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm Namaste. right. I'm right about everything I fucking say when it comes to multiverse shit, and you can't convince me otherwise because I was walking around this bitch, but I wasn't walking around this bitch. Because the movie was playing. We was watching Avengers Infinity War. I told him that was a good one, but he left, <coughs> after, he left too early. Because the end of that movie, the shit kicked in at the perfect time. Because when it really kicked in, <coughs> Doctor Strange started doing shit, going into fucking things. Mm. Da, 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 all that shit. So I was going crazy. I asked him, was I moving around? How many times did I get up while watching that movie? While you was in here? Three times. He said, I got up. I asked him to touch me. <laughs> Pause. No, like, he said, wanted me to, like, tap it. I said, hey, bro, tap, tap, Y'all should have saw the way I tapped this motherfucker, too. Like, I'm over here, like, this motherfucker was infected or something. I'm over here, like... I'm like, okay, okay. Like, bro, okay, like, I'm over here, like, like, what the <laughs> fuck this nigga? Like, for real, bro. Like, just, 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 <laughs> bring me back, bro, bring me back to reality, bro. Bring me back to reality, bro. Bro, <laughs> bro, bring me back to reality. Nah, bro. Bro, and it was, <laughs> we was watching Avengers Infinity War. And so, after a while, look. As I'm a saying, motherfucker who wasn't tripping, bro, this shit was funny as fuck to me because I've never been on that side of it watching this other motherfucker I'm trip. Saying, I've always been so in So, after a while, I'm sitting watching the movie. As I'm watching the movie, I keep going from into the movie. Like, when they talking and shit and Tony Stark is talking to everybody, I'm in there <laughs> just looking at Peter and shit like, where is this nigga? And that shit. And then I'm back into the movie thing. And then I'm back in it and I keep doing that shit. And then I'm like asking questions and shit. I forgot exactly what questions I was asking. But then bro say, bro say, he said, you exactly where you want to be, bro. Just Infinity chill. War. He said, just chill. You exactly where you want to be. He said, he said, just stop asking questions and just ride. I say, okay. <laughs> and I just started chilling. I had took my jacket off and I'm sitting. Because I wasn't wanting them to psych yourself out. You know what I'm saying? And get up in a fucked up ass headspace and shit. So yeah, I'm trying I'm to keep his ass done, cool. Up. So look, after a while, look, we going through the movie. The movie going. And literally, oh the same part of the movie start playing over and over. It's like, da da da. 
And then it rewinds and it plays. Then it rewinds and then plays. And then all of a sudden, I'm listening to my Cinema Wins dude in the shit. And he was like, at this point, and then I see four screens as if it's split screen mode. I start seeing four screens of the same shit. And they go from four to 16 to 64. And I'm sitting there like, nigga looking like a fly. And like, then all of a sudden, it just like warps. And then I was like, okay, I'm riding. I'm just riding. And then. Nigga, y'all seen y'all ever seen that shit where it's like a bunch of hands start like grabbing each other and uh-huh. shit like that? Nigga, that shit started pulling me and shit and I was like, where the fuck am I going? No, I'm not. Tell my true story. Y'all both passed with each other. I just tried to <laughs> That's what I was and- like, we <laughs> Nah, real talk, I went from win- I'm on now, nah, I'm Windows eleven now, whatever the fuck we at. But uh after we did that, we get to, like, towards the end of the movie. Everybody start fucking dusting and shit. And I keep, like, going in and out of the trance. Niggas is dusting. And I, every time I get up, I'm like, whoa. Uh, and then as they start leaving and shit, motherfucking credits play. Somebody fucking visits the house. Not gonna say, I don't even know who the fuck it was. But Buddy came in this bitch. Apparently, I talked to him, dapped him up and everything because I somewhat remember that shit. I don't know if I said anything. I was just praying that I didn't say anything embarrassing while I'm laying down in my shit. I'm like, <laughs> and then, then, they was in here at first. Then Archie and then they that bitch talking about football. And I'm hearing them like, and they sound, they got super high-pitched voice. And they go, yeah, yeah. He got like, And that's all I was like really hearing. And I was like, okay. So and then he comes back in and I was like, Archie, you here? Is that you? Because this motherfucker's not the nicest person to be with when you fucking on a trip. You see this nigga like that? You see how he is? Hold up, wait, no, fuck that. I'm telling the story. You see how he is? It went out. Lighter. Here. You see how he is right there? He's just chilling, watching the fucking movie. Exactly how he looking right there. So every time. I look from a trance and I go into like a little zone. I start walking around or something and I didn't move. I'm just sitting here. I look at him and I look back. I'm like, okay, fuck. He hasn't moved. I'm watching the same fucking scene. Why the fuck (coughs) is time froze? Like literally I'm on the same scene I was just looking at. So I'm like, why the fuck is time froze? So then I wait a little bit. I look back. He's still doing the same shit. I say, aren't you there? Is that you, bro? Yeah, man, I'm still here. You gotta move, bro. I say, yeah. You move, <laughs> I bro. say, bro, you gotta start moving, You gotta bro. start moving, man. Now you just... then, so then he fucked me up, because he's sitting there, and then he stands up like this, pulling the dad pole while he watching the movie and shit. So I'm sitting here like... And then nigga mannequin and shit. I, I zone out, look over again, now he's standing up, and I'm like, okay, okay. I look over, same fucking pose. Didn't even move his feet, he ain't even on his phone or nothing, just same pose. I'm like... Fuck, man, is that you but still, see, bro? It feel like five hours or some shit that went by, bro. It has only been like seconds. Bro, and like, I changed to sit here tripping. Bro, and that shit, bro, time was like, so fucking see, slow. Like, then, that's what it was. He left. And I kind of knew, because I was like, Archie, you're gone now, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's gone. I remember him telling me he had to work out at like nine or some shit, so he had to lay down, so I was like, okay. I get up though, this is what freaked me out. I started freaking myself out when I was alone. I get up, start walking around, I'm like, fuck, it's kinda cold. I try to open the door to go outside. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before you got there, you forgot. You didn't even say them. You sat there and say how you was listening to me and only had them discussions and shit like that. You did not say not one time how your ass just sat there through the fucking end credits though and like listen oh, to yeah. all the symphony, that, shit. that bitch was in there. Nigga, that shit every time I open my eyes. Cause that's when I was like coming to, like somewhat grasping, grasping reality. I'm sitting here like, okay, credits. Huh. Open eyes, credits. I can't read none of the words. Everything's gibberish. That man came. That bitch was speaking like you know how Percy Jackson was reading shit in Greek and that shit was switching. Bro, that bitch kept moving around and saying other shit. And I'm like, okay, so I'm just gonna sit. I look, check my phone. <coughs> it was 4:33. No, not 433, like 533, some shit like that. Put that bitch down. 
Then some. I started walking around. This is after the fucking credits is over. I sat through that whole fucking credit scene in credits. Motherfucker! This nigga kept walking through, but I didn't know what the fuck was happening. I go try to open the door. I'm fucking astral projecting for show. Because I'm trying to walk through the door, and the door's not opening. That bitch, not, the, the knob not turning. I'm trying to turn the locks, and the locks is just sitting there. I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? It's not working. So I'm like, okay. And I come back, sit back down in my shit, get back up. Try to get up, walk around, like, trying to just touch things to make sure that I'm, like, doing shit, turning lights on and shit. I'm like, fuck, I'm a ghost right now. Reset. Get up, start moving around. Then I close my, reset. And I did that shit, like, ten times. Over and over and over and over again. And I was like, fuck. Now I lay down in my bed. And I know I was, and I was feeling my bed, but I was in a fucking chair. So I was sitting here like, what the fuck? Six something come around. About two hours later. Go on this bitch. I'm like, fuck, man. Pick that nigga. I go to the, the nigga out here sleep. Go to his phone. Look at the phone. It's like 6, 10, some shit. I say, okay, cool. Wake this motherfucker. I say, hey, 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 nigga, hey. He wake up. I say, fuck yes, you're real. <laughs> this nigga uh... say. He say, nigga, what the fuck you talking about? I say, bro, I've been walking around this bitch for an hour and a half. <laughs> Nobody's responding to me. That nigga. RG ass was in the fucking same spot. He was moving. He did some shit. I don't know if somebody came through here and visited. I ain't watched the I movie. I lay down I at 520. I've been asleep over 40 minutes by now. Man, say, I'm sitting here tripping out. I was like, bro. But overall, it was great because it was like, my mind is fun, but not fun, <coughs> but fun. So I will say it is a very mental drug. So the fun thing to is also good about it that you be the music artist. I kept trying to wake up and it wasn't letting me. Fuck what you talking about. No. I was not in control right. of maybe my this, brain. Maybe this time you're not. But next time that you would ever be able to experience that, if you're able to be awake, you watch a movie and you listen to it. I was it. awake the whole time. No, but I'm saying, but when you actually listen to it, that drug, fuck what you're hearing. So you hear things all fucked up. For instance, I'd be playing 2K back in the day. On, on playing whatever, the announcers would be fucked up. They would sound all distorted. And oh no, yeah, that kept happening. They kept on speeding up and slowing down. So yeah, like, so that's something that you get. That, that, he was like, and then it would catch back up for a little bit, and then it would slow down. Like. Oh, hey, yeah, so you made that name. My name is Dr. Strange. Oh, uh, so I would, for you being a, a musician and you being able to hear the beat and hear certain things, I want to, I want to see you make a, make music. The bitch going to sound like... She going to be like, like, <laughs> like flying low this shit. And while I'm going, I'm like, yeah, this shit's so beautiful. They going to be sober. Who that who put game and makes you racist? Who responded to that? Uh, uh, it's Clutch. I said, come. <laughs> he said, he said, game make, yes, game and make you racist. Just yeah, like I, to make you violent. Just like to make you, uh, serious. What all that the stuff. fuck? Yeah, I have a story. I have, I, I have, yeah, it's a Playing it's a video topic. games makes you racist. It, it's a topic, yes. Yes. Y'all topic. niggas fucking. Any more shroom stories? I went hard this weekend, bro. Look, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, it was just crazy. But you can't eat them all that day and experience. No, dog. I didn't eat the shrooms till what Sunday. Okay, so Friday, Fridays, man. I said I got a little lip in my system. I'm smoking hella weed. We stay out all night. Turns up. Saturday come along. Turn up. You know what I'm saying? Start smoking. Start drinking. Whole little lean this time. I'm sipping some drinks. You know what I'm saying? Sunday. I'm sleeping. I don't want to. Sunday, we doing the same thing. I'm sipping drinking. I have it. Uh, what was it, Sunday night? Monday. Monday, I go hang out with my father. And let me tell y'all, I ain't been asleep all these days, bro. Like, I probably had four hours of sleep within the four days, bro. Like, so, Halloween night, yeah, I go handle my business, da-da-da, I go. You know, go to my partner house the next day. Halloween. I'm chilling at my partner house. Bro pulls out the shrooms. Bro pulls out a bag full of just like everything. Bro had XO shrooms, da da da, all this and that. He's just handing the shit out like it's fucking it's candy. <laughs> like it's Halloween, bro. Just handing the shit out. So I was like, all right. 
Bro gave me an XO and like three grams of shrooms. And I'm already off the drink. We smoking hella Damn, gas. Damn, three grams? Yeah. That's a lot. I took five. Uh, just send me on my trip. Five what? Grams. How'd you take five grams? I ate them. I ate them up. What the fuck? Like I need to. You don't know how to eat some? <laughs> so I ate three you and know, I popped you, the you XO. Know what I do? I and I popped the XO, bro. So I, I, got, a, I got a grinder and I grind them up and I just put it on the paper and I took that bitch like PC like powder. Cr- like Kratom and shit. Nah, 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 I was out of there, fam. My partner fell asleep. But I was watching some movie. I don't know what the fuck the movie is. It's about two guys. I thought one dude meets a homeless guy and they go on this big ass road trip and end up losing everything, bro. And I felt like I was the third wheel in that whole movie. But I'm sitting there in the movie with these two niggas doing the most dumbest shit. Partner fall asleep, bro. I'm looking at this nigga's posters, bro. The posters are spinning, fam. This nigga got a poster of Rick and Morty behind me. I turn around, nigga. Rick standing on my fucking shoulder, nigga. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm sitting there talking to Rick and Morty on the poster and shit. Fucking. Yeah. I look my at bad. my partner, fam. I'm sitting there. I don't know how I kept ended up. Like he said, bro, I kept switching. I was on the bed. Then I was on the motherfucking chair. I was on the bed. Then I was on the chair. But you ain't move at all. Bro, I don't know what the fuck was happening. <laughs> He didn't get confirmation like we was oh, able God, to. my partner was asleep. All I know is I tried to wake that nigga up. I woke that nigga up. Bro, damn near depressed as hell. Because I was, bro, I'm telling you, I was on the shrooms and the XO. And I was fucked up when I found out uh, Takeoff died. So that yeah. shit fucked me. I was like, damn, I can't find that to kill my nigga Takeoff. That nigga sleep. He like, huh? Oh, that nigga fell right back asleep. I'm like, wake up. You got to wake up, fam. You got to wake up. That nigga just knocked the fuck out. That nigga got this shit like an ESP alert. I was out of there. I was out of it, bro. And then we came back, and then we microdosed last night. I microdosed to this nigga. I tried, look, when he took his five grams, I took four. And I was just sitting here chilling, bro. And it just didn't hit me because I was just out of it. He was already, yeah. I was was saying, like, you can't take it and it hit you the same. You gotta give it some time in between for it to fuck you up. So I was just gone, bro. I'd be mad because I wasted my drugs in between the time, and I didn't know that. I was like, oh yeah, this shit. Oh nigga, it took me like 30 minutes to roll the blunt while I was high. <laughs> I was oh like, nah, man. bitch, you treat that shit like a loaded clip. <laughs> nigga, you load your gun up before you go on that trip, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that shit did not work. You nigga, I had, I always make sure I got like 10 plus. Because I know I'm about to be. I forgot, I was like, Bro, you know how hard it is to text them? It's just hard to look at your phone. My phone looks completely different. Different, like, on my phone. It's a whole different phone. Like, numbers, I'm like, what the Your numbers fuck? didn't, your numbers and letters didn't jump off, like, jump they, around, like. Yeah, they were moving. Nah, that was around, like, what the I knew that bitch was kicking in, then I, I started seeing limits fall, like, the limits from uh, Pac-Man and shit. Them bitches was just falling down my fucking, like, vision. Like, I had AI or some shit, and them bitches just coming down. I was like, oh, shit. I started grabbing them bitches. Yeah, like, he in the Matrix. Pac-Man. What's up, Rachel? You trying to come over here and trip with us? <laughs> Rachel, I have a plan. We'll talk about it later. For sure. Hey, so now nah, I had, uh, and my shit ain't fucking, I ain't got no wild ass shrimp stories like y'all. But, uh. You gone. What's it called? Nah, bro, this, I mean, it's a story, but it's not, it's not a trip story. Okay. So, uh, this is some, damn, I was gonna say about like a month back. It yeah, probably like a month back. I went, I went up to the store, to the 7 Eleven right here. Yeah. Go up in there, I get uh, some, I got some Rillos and a brown, I believe. I know I got some brownies for sure. And, and then I, got I get out. Special get brownies? Out. Was it? Oh, you said 7-Eleven, yeah, my 7-11. bad. 7-Eleven. So I get Walnuts or no walnuts? Say with walnuts. Oh, God. Walnuts, I'm, 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 I'm just checking on what side of the fence you stand on. I mean, you saw the way he caught that toilet. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that shit <laughs> gets <laughs> nuts. Don't pay this nigga no mind. Oh. <laughs> Nigga, I walk out the store and I'm just in my motherfucking mind, like I'm not even thinking. So I go out and I walk to the door and I open the door. Nigga, this is not my car. <laughs> this is not my car. There's a whole female inside, a whole white chick inside on the driver's side on her phone, bro. And she fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, GTA, huh? yo! Oh. And as soon as I, I went, oh, I, and yo, I said exactly what the fuck I just said. I was like, oh, this is not my car. Holy shit! And I was, I'm back in like the bitch shot me. And I'm going back to my, I was like, holy shit, bro, that was not my. Was it the same car though? 
No, it just had the same color. <laughs> Bro, I scared the fuck out of her. She was scared of me. This shit was. I don't want your twenty thousand dollar car, bitch. You broke, motherfucker. My bad. <laughs> I was just grateful she didn't handle that shit like a Karen, though. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Thing, that was yeah. exact, hey, cause my ass. I don't know not. Have you ever seen, have you ever, have you ever seen Reservoir Dogs? <laughs> no. Simple as if y'all ever seen Reservoir Dogs. When Tim Roth gets shot in the fucking gut and he's sitting there fucking that's what Justin bleeding like, right? in the fucking what? Oh, it's an abomination. This is where I talk about Justin Timberlake, right? No, Hell no, no, that's Alpha no. Dog. Yeah, that's Alpha yeah, Dog. Yeah, did fun with my young dog. 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 dog in it. We, uh, had, <laughs> we had some fun with the But now he <laughs> going to do a carjacking after they rob the bank or whatever. And he go, he opens a chick's car. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about she looked like she just got done dropping the kids off at school and shit. He opened the door and bump right to the gut. Like she had that bitch waiting for his ass. Like, Doop. So when I open that bitch, shit, bro, and I'm walking back to my car, that's all that's playing back in my mind is fucking Reservoir Dogs, bro. Because I saw how that motherfucking, bro, gut, getting shot in the gut is one of the worst fucking spots to get hit at, bro. Like, that chick is slow. The most painful, you bleeding a lot. Sure. That fuck that shit. So nigga, I'm sitting here, I'm like, man, I could have got fucking locked up. I could have fucking got shot. I scared of this bitch. What the fuck? So yeah, nah, that shit just fucked me up for like 30 seconds. I was fucking out of there. The fuck is up with stale water? It's crazy because we all sipping water. Well, except him, he's sipping seltzer. Said stale. That's that hard water. Still no. water nonetheless. <laughs> How long will you guys leave out a glass of water in your house and still drink it? It's not like it goes bad, but after a while, it's weird, right? Agree, yes. and I still drink that bitch because I'm thirsty. How long? Until you go overnight, that's it. Like, Dude, I've left bottled bottle water in my car half drank. I can't buy that safe bottle. A cup. A cup. If I got a cup of water next to my bed at night, I might wake up and sip it. But in the morning, I'm finna go refill that cup. If it's still full, I'm pouring it out. Go give me some more ice cold water. When the ice melts, that's how I'm gonna take it. Fuck it. For me, I'm doing it. Well, all right, even though I know you said no bottles, I treat my bottles the same motherfucking way, though. Uh, once the bitches get to a certain, once I done drunk a certain amount of them, and that bitch done sat for a minute, I'm not fucking with it because I can take a sip and that shit make me fucking sick to my stomach. Like, I get nauseous as fuck. It just, it's not the same. And I'm a nigga who can drink room temperature water. Like, that shit ain't even gotta be cold. Yeah, bitch, clean. All right. <laughs> Unless, <laughs> look, if that bitch clear. It's going down, it's going, baby. Yeah, I'm drinking It's that. going if down. That, if, that, if that water is clear. You eat pussy? I, I drink water that's been <laughs> there four days that's clear, baby. Oh, man, I, don't I don't care. care. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be the first ones to go. Aliens and bacteria hit this. Hey, place. they ain't going to kill me, nope. bitch. Y'all is. We going to have y'all. motherfucking immune system. You're going to be chill. I done ate all the bacteria on the world, nigga. Y'all going to be gone, thing, baby. That little thin layer of dust. Always some new shit. That little thin layer of dust no, that come over no, the water, nigga. I done drunk that shit. mixtape. Always some new shit. You know how much dust. I can't feel my face. No, all that. Fuck that. No, that look. If my mouth y'all out of there. If I wake up, out of there, they gone. Whenever I wake up and I say like, my name is Spicy, and I and my fucking my fucking throat what? feel like that, bro, I'm, I'm drinking that water, bitch. Hot, cold, and different, bitch. I need some now to liquefy my throat, cause I can't breathe right now. I sound like. Chocolate! No, motherfucker. I, I sound like that <laughs> bitch Miss Weiss in the motherfucking 12th grade with the motherfucking cigarette. If it's a bottle, yeah, I'm just saying, if it's a bottle, that bitch uh, forever will go. At the I end of this ruler, Mr. Redican is an idiot. Unless it's in the car in the heat. If it's in the if it's been in the sun for too nah, long. Nah, bitch. I grew up in Texas, nigga. Let your water if you get. Let your water get. Floor, let your water get. Let your water get right here. Let that bitch sit for two days and then go back and drink. Bitch, give it a I'm week. It could be boiling hot in the Texas summer at twelve o'clock in the afternoon. If I'm that. smoking my blunt and got cotton mouth, I'm drinking that motherfucking water, the bitch. Last time you did Preach. that shit. <laughs> shit this summer. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you, nigga. 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 I ain't gonna hold you
<laughs> Some water. <laughs> Some water's better than no water, man. That should be about hot as hell. My throat be quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You won't Dude. survive in the desert, clearly. <laughs> it doesn't no have any ice cubes. No I don't nah, want I it. Need, no, I just don't need no hot ass water. Like I said, I can drink. Just like I said, red. ice cubes. You can, I can, you can go grab a, I can go grab a water off the shelf. Nigga, my water bottle has go <laughs> when I've opened it. <laughs> That's his that nigga got fermented water. Iron belly ass. Had drank that shit. Oh, he got an iron belly. <laughs> nigga, how you turn bro. water into sparkly water? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Hell no, nah, bro. No, 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 no. You got that. You got that. That nigga said. Ooh, oh oh my god. Beyonce, I... what the hell, dog? Shit, your ass. No real temperature. Hey, it ain't. It ain't, it ain't hot. As long as they ain't hot, I can drink. I love water. As long as that shit is not hot, I'm. Sick. As long as it's not hot and got an ugly ass taste, I can throw down. Uh, bro, you know what pisses me off? But I am picky about my water. Though everybody that says water doesn't have a taste. Bullshit. What does something? What does Kool Aid <laughs> that doesn't have a flavor taste like? What? What does Kool Aid without a flavor taste like? The it's color. Sour. What is Kool Aid? They say flavor? this shit is. What do they say about it? They say it's watered down. You know what I'm saying? What fucking flavor you think that is then? Fucking water, dumbass! Nigga, you have a clean palate and you drink some water. That's a fucking taste. You go take a lemon. That's a fucking taste. You go back to that water. It's gonna taste like fucking water. Now what that- like lemonade. No, it's not. Bro, lemonade. papaya tastes like ass. <laughs> I'm so bad I've never eaten either or. <laughs> no, papaya tastes like ass inside the fucking, that, that sauce, that, that chimoy shit. Right, nah, nah. That's what made me chimichurri? Nah, nah chimoy. Nah, nah, you clearly ain't been with no Mexican nigga. <laughs> This nigga asked about the sauce. This nigga asked about the motherfucking sauce. Not the fire sauce, my nigga. That's the fucking sauce you put on, like, the sandwiches and shit. But it's sweet, nigga. You put sandwiches. Put that shit on sandwiches. You do put chimichurri on fucking sandwiches. You can use chimichurri on one. Put a chimichurri seasoning for a chicken, bitch. You said, like, you can get on meat. That's like a lot of shit. Y'all say that tastes oh, like God ass. Damn it. Papaya with the fucking uh, so you so chimichurri yeah. tastes like ass to you. <laughs> Y'all said papaya tastes like ass. He said that. I did. But it had the it had the chamoy shit. I didn't have like, to. I don't put the oh. chamoy on my shit. You had the chamoy. Nigga, you put the salt and shit on there. The salt, yeah. But that's yeah. what made it taste like no. that, nigga. Fuck no. A chemical reaction with something that's supposed to be a sweetness with the fucking salt and lemon is gonna taste different. Make it taste like. Ass. Shit. You're right. It didn't taste very good. But papaya by itself, nigga, get your ass backed up. If you say that shit in the wrong motherfucking island, goddammit. You like papaya? Only water that's been sitting in a hot car. I don't see a, don't don't see a song taste. being made Man, like cucumber like, like papaya. Man, no. <laughs> all, all water tastes like the metal it came from. Whichever no, rock that water came from, it tastes like that sediment. It is what it is. Our garden oh, tastes like that type of shit. You go drink Dasani, it tastes like that type of shit. All of it. Oh, that's I ain't fucking with no Dasani. I'm not either, but all of it has a thin film of plastic in that bitch because it all has to be shipped. When niggas be like, you can't leave it in the car. Nigga, you think that shit ain't sitting in a motherfucking warehouse somewhere that's hot as fuck? Them warehouses ain't cooler controlled. Especially with water and shit. The only shit that's cooler controlled is water. Meat and shit like that. Everything else, that water coming in them hot ass Amazon events. And I deliver the bitches. All y'all Fiji waters and shit, that should be about hot as hell in the summer. I see the palace, them shit's come on. Man. And them hoes heavy in a bitch. I hate you. Let one of them bitches the fall out. Who the fuck orders Yo, water? Your thirsty ass gonna Amazon. drink water. Go to the fucking store and get that shit. Bro, Fiji Amazon water different. is cheap. <laughs> Fiji tastes different because it be in them boxes all goddamn day before you drink it. That shit be in that bitch for a long time. Can I get some time. my weird ass questions? Kevin, just flash for Where's my bitch? Dun, dun, dun. All right, so. The question we've all been asked is like, would you suck a dick for a million dollars or whatever, no. amount of, whatever the amount of money is? I'm like, never putting that towards my face. They've always asked that question. So I was watching this video the other day, and the question was asked, would you rather live your life as it is, 
or blow a dude a day for to be a billionaire. I'm good in the bitch. I, y'all, see, hey, siblings, y'all like y'all, 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 y'all enjoy what we be doing, right? <laughs> y'all fuck with what we be doing, right? I don't have no complaints if y'all ain't got no complaints. Cause that's one thing I'm not finna do: blow a dude a day to get a billion dollars pay. No, it's not what the fuck I'm finna do. So, Mom, a little bit in your face, bro. Just let me know. <laughs> Oh, I'm hiding. He's saying I'm hiding from y'all. No, no, I thought you I thought you said I thought you I thought you said balls and that's why I wasn't <laughs> oh, no. was telling you. That's why I wasn't saying shit because I was like oh, balls, balls in your face, oh, aren't you? Like, no, I mean, no, that's what I thought he said at first. Yeah. Like, balls in your face, aren't you? I'm just straight no side down like now. He's really talking to me. I ain't gonna disrespect you like that, man. Nah, but uh, I'm gonna live my life because I ain't sucking no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe if it was like, up, bro, that's the Rachel 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 Okay, okay, Rachel, Rachel, maybe it was a little bit. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel changed it. She made it a little less vulgar. Huh? Y'all suck a deal though for ten million. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all fucked up. No cap, First of all, no. It's not no dick though. No, no cap. but no, bro. Come no on cap. now. You still gotta mentally frame bro, your. Bro, just imagine it being a, a bomb pop. <laughs> no, bro. I no. I gotta live I with that shit. I do it only in front of the motherfucker that's paying me, and ain't no videos and nothing getting recorded. But what if he on some? What if he on some? Uh, what's that? Nah, it ain't no. What if, what if he on some? What's, 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 what's the dude that like feet? And, Fuck and no. And it's a no. What if he it's like that? Go. He like he like yeah. Then it's a no go. You want this to me? Nah, then it's a no go. Nah. <laughs> Keeps nah, my ass open. Bro, that ain't, nah, nah fam. Nah. Again, because you got to, you still got to mentally, bro. I don't give a fuck if that shit attached to a motherfucker or not, bro. You still having to shape your mouth in a O. No. You, you just did it right no. there. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Not doing it. No. It bro. I, no. So you don't want to figure out how many licks it takes to get through the center? I don't fucking need to know. Why the fuck I need that? Why I need that answer? A one, a two, a two, a three. A three. Oh. Oh. I, I guess we'll never answer. know, Lorraine Bobby. <laughs> nope, nope. I ain't figuring shit out. I ain't figuring you figuring it out? Uh, no. Oh, okay then. I got a girlfriend. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, look, bitch. I got hair. I'm gonna dress up just like me. Give a little but no, like, yes, size. Yeah. Yeah. I'm but not for you. I'm gonna give her a little mustache and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so Fucked these. up ass wig, pulled up in a ponytail and shit. Take, but... take the testosterone, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but like, hey, look, we got to shade the size for just tonight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she gonna look like on Little Rascals when they went to the bank. Go shave this that week. big ass suit. <laughs> oh God. So like, what's your oh, what's your right. bank code? Four. Nah, I really don't say, but bro, you know damn well. He sent his chick up in there with a mustache and shit like that. That's exactly, it. ain't no way that shit gets, no, that, so, that shit gonna work. Hold on, so, the, so the, the video. Rachel, right, she said we ate popsicles growing up. Y'all ain't uh, never sucked on no baby bottle pop, nigga. See, now she going into that, well, I think that was super bad. Just, <laughs> just the tip, man. Just the tip. Nah, I, I didn't like that. Come on, we back. Come on, we all the best foods are shaped like this. Hot dogs, popsicles, <laughs> glizzies. <laughs> you want to know the truth? I treated that, I ain't gonna, I don't know if I can get this vulgar. I treated that bitch like, you know what I'm saying? The, the, no, I get my the, ice cream the, called soft serve. I treat that bitch like Use the Vlatoris. Use my tongue. Now, Alphys, Alphys, I treat that bitch like the Vlatoris, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna say the whole thing, cause we all Fuck that. Monetization. Yeah, y'all niggas took a big ass bite. <laughs> Yeah, the same way I'm a munch, nigga. I was wanna have, oh, oh, oh. Nigga, she thought I was you. That nigga, I'm a munch. Nigga, what you talking about? Carpet munching head ass. Hell yeah, nigga, I'm a munch. Nigga, eat it, eat it for lunch. Look, whenever they ask, they say, how that tongue game do, I just send a picture of a pudding cup. <laughs> they be empty on everything, y'all. Uh, no spoon. No spoon. <laughs> Take no that. Spoon. The picture, all in the caption is no you know spoon. <laughs> no spoon. Subject, you the picture, no caption. And, and you got the white pudding. <laughs> it got to be the white pudding right here on the side. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it for y'all now. You got to lick it, y'all. Hey, look, that shit, all of them mustache and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is stupid. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, y'all motherfuckers is yeah. stupid, man. He sent a gift afterwards to Bill Cosby, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna send a gift for that motherfucker. Oh, this from Raw. Ah! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, 
Hey, nah, y'all don't understand, though. That's your Homie favorite. had the bow tie, <laughs> had the oil on, had the, hey, that shit was funny than the bitch. Cause they, he did it after he hit the worm, too. Tight. That nigga hit the worm, and then that nigga hit the thrust on that bitch, bro. That Dude, shit, yeah. motherfuckers was dying, bro. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Gaming makes you racist and right. Mm. Yeah. What? Yeah, so these what fucking. The fuck, man, Facebook? Why so like these, update? I done done stories on these motherfuckers before, like these no, national Titan, ain't nobody health has motherfuckers. Shit. For some reason, they got this negative agenda when it comes to gaming, and all the bullshit on like every article, every seems like every test that they do or come out with is on some bullshit. Matter of fact, just because I know we got a lot of gamers in here, we ain't gonna let that shit go. I'm gonna go grab my phone. We gonna get some name dropping in this bitch so I can let y'all know who these hating motherfuckers is. Who and you know what's crazy? Uh, hip hop, I mean not hip hop. Oh, uh, gaming right now is low key in the same era mm-hmm. as and '90s hip hop. I would argue, and I'm saying that like it's in this groundbreaking phase to where everything gaming it's, it's been like that for like a while when they were trying to say violence and shit. But now it's like since gamers are making so much fucking money, you seeing gamers making billions of dollars on Twitch, blah 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 blah, whatever it is. They trying to find any reason to kind of discredit it and make it, go, you know what I'm saying? It's even worse than when it used to be like, oh, gaming makes you lazy, all this, that, and the other. They going even worse now, because how the fuck, it, what, what was this one? Because I know it was violent at first. No, this, this one, one? Uh, this one is, they're saying that, uh, hold on, it's pulling up, man. <coughs> oh, huh. 504 gateway timed out, huh? Yeah, we know what the fuck that is. Uh, yeah, I'm, well, luckily, since I got it saved in there, I at least got a nice brief portion of it. It says, attention all gamers, we've got some good news and some bad news. First off, a, a new study by the American Medical Association, yeah, them AMA motherfuckers, them, that's who it is, has ask shown that- Ask me anything? Mm-hmm. AMA, ask me anything? Shut up. What? It says that it uh, it does show enhanced cognitive performance compared to their non-gaming counterpart, non-gaming counterparts. But they're saying that the bad news is that it may may uh, have some less desirable side effects, which includes making people racist and like right-wing political shit. We ain't gonna get to the political shit because first of all, that's just a dumbass take. So, but good, there is no way you gonna do a test like this and get anything legitimate on that front. But when you talk about gaming, makes you that's all racist, media. Though. That's what that, are you? That's so you're saying that about all media. Boom. Like I, that's just the basic. That's the brass tax of the shit. Like if that's the case, gaming does that, then so does TV, so does the news, so does music, so does Social art, media. so does fucking everything. So take it all away. And right. go back to fucking farming and playing outside. You're not. Shut the fuck up. You're not Amish. Exactly. Like, no, but that's my that that, that was my life. point though. I feel like, gang, gang. but this has been <laughs> something, bro. That even since back in the day, bro. Even when you had Sega Genesis and shit like that, <laughs> motherfuckers still <laughs> try to oh go back to your mom's basement and play video games or oh you're still 30 years old in gaming. Yup, 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 yup. Show the fuck right. The fuck you worried about it for? Can't beat me though. Uh, I look young in the bitch. You look like you finna hit 49. You motherfucker be stressed. And then the motherfucker sit there talking about you don't play video games. Be, like, be bored. Guess who ain't bored? Motherfuckers who always got video oh, games to play. <laughs> fuck you talking about no matter what the fuck. Bruh! Reggie say shit. I grew up playing more. I'm Kombat. sorry to yell. I ain't never nah, but I mean, is that no. facts though? That's one thing I can motherfucking say is I'm motherfucking bored. Yeah, that's good. Bitch, I got too many. I got show overload. I got too many shows to watch. Bitch, I got too many fucking video games to play. But see, that's different though. It's different having that block of just having too much shit. Because I've hit that shit too, where you just sit there and you got too many damn options and you can't figure nothing out. So you, you can't just say you're stuck. bored though. No, exactly. That's not, that's not bored. That's not no. bored. That's, that's just a pick. That's an overload. Too, exactly. Too much pick of the litter. You know that's that overload. Of the litter. So there's that. But bored? Shit. You got me fucked up. Hell no. Nah. I be feeling sorry for motherfuckers who don't play video games, honestly. Like, a motherfucker be like, I don't play video games or I don't smoke weed. I be like, damn. 
Fuck. Yeah, it sucks to be you for real. Uh, like, damn, what fam. You, what like, you do the I just, I just, I could just go on. Th- I, that's boring to me. I smoke not to smoke. Like, but, but bro, just going through life. Like, granted, I guess there's a lot of stuff to do outside, but I feel like that's how you fall into that shit that, whether it's like the government and them and all these little bullshit tactics they pull up to try to get you to just go spend money. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. Think about it. If you ain't got no motherfucking video game and shit like that to where you sit at the house chilling, what are you doing when you out and about? Spending money. Guess what? I'll be at the motherfucking crib and I'll spend my money another kind of way. Give me a motherfucking pizza or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Just have some shit. I feel like you saved your money getting video games. What you just said? So I'm saying, no, I mean, even with saving food, like you, whatever. Yeah, you can put your money in, post some pizza, motherfucker. Your whole day inside. Oh yeah, nah, cause outside expensive as hell. So I'm saying, so that's what, so like, even, so that's what yeah, I'm saying. Seventy dollar like, game. Take, so you take away game, and everything else that you're doing is spending money to have fun. Everything else is just, there's no self nah, fuck but that. You better put this Oculus I've on and let's go bowling. You know what I'm saying? Hey, where your HDMI outlet at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, this bitch got our. You Ray know what I'm saying? Ray just say, shit. I grew up playing Mortal Kombat, and I ain't never snatched a nigga heart out of his body. You got a few niggas in the cliff that will say otherwise, but okay. So, <laughs> Rihanna say, you know what makes you racist? Being racist, period. No, what makes you racist is saying candy games. Uh, <laughs> Rachel also say, people that don't play video games are always bored and don't know how to be alone. Uh, yeah, those people that always need attention and shit. You can't vibe by what yourself. What the fuck you got talking about candy games? Yeah, like you that. ain't been here for this. Only if you've been here for this. Sweet potatoes and candy yams. But which oh. ones is which? When they say candy yams, exactly which ones they talking about? No, like candy. how they cooking it type no, shit. No, 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 no. If sweet, pota- sweet potatoes, they make it and shit by their damn self. Candy yams and shit, they come out of the motherfucking can all served up and shit. You got me fucked up. <laughs> my point. My point is that. You know what? Already. <laughs> my, Already. My point is that. We ain't got shit else to talk about. <laughs> Already. Yup. Yup. Nah, yup. Yup, nope, there's a difference. There's a difference on that front. As soon as you put them shits in the motherfucking can and add that syrup in there and start doing that preservative shit, nope. That's not candy ends, motherfucker. But nah, but seriously though, nah, but I do agree though, like, those are people who don't know how to, I can enjoy my own motherfucking company. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can sit and vibe, by my dance. I'm like, I don't have to have. Mm-hmm. Brianna, that's a good point. What's up? It's scary letting your kids play video games nowadays if you're not around. Too catch and pay around, motherfucker. And to that, I say your kids should not be allowed to play online unless you were there. It depends that's on what I'm saying. It depends on the game. If it's a cell phone game, and I feel like it's more accessible now in cell phone games and tablet yeah, games. Yeah, I know my point on that. Then, then, it is, then it is to have a, a controller in your hand they and you be on a console. My nigga, my, yeah, I'm already on the team. Yeah. Shouldn't have fucking phone. They should have no, they damn sure should have no fucking That's phone That's where game. I was, yeah. Well, no, I mean, like, my son plays a tablet, and he has the phone game with a tablet. Oh, yeah, but most, of, so, them, most of them won't be online. No, he's playing whatever game, like, fucking, you know, he got Bobby, Minecraft. Bird, Bobby Bird and shit, yeah. But he got he, Minecraft, that's online. That's so damn difficult to play online on the phone, so I was looking at this shit. He's that's a tablet. Yeah, so, but, but like. To play, but to play and try to chat on that bitch at the same time, that's going to be a lot of work. I agree, totally. That's going to be a lot of work. The other one is, uh... Roblox. Yeah. I, and that, and that's the that's, that y'all know about the eight, that's y'all one. know. I think that's a game that has been misplaced as a young people game, but in reality, it is for like 14 and up. I'm trying to place an age oh, round, but no. I would say a teenager and no, up because but by that age, you, 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 should them, be, yep. you should be watching I, it. I agree. And they, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you can kind of conversate with them at 14 and kind of, but eight. Four, five, six, like the little Saint West finding Kim Kardashian thing on there. Why the fuck is that little nigga playing Roblox? You see what I'm saying? He and oh yeah, he found it. But and then it's too much fucking. Oh, it's too much way to spend money. Like nigga, most of Roblox is places. like you, you gotta pay for shit. Yeah. That's Why the fuck do kids get access to being having to pay for shit? They shouldn't even know that. It's oh like, no. It's so, I mean, my, my kids play Roblox and I don't have no issue with Roblox with them playing Roblox. I don't think I. Do they be talking about it though? No, I mean it's, it's a tablet. It's no headset. See, that's the thing. Roblox on the tablet, bro, is still different. 
then Roblox on the console. Oh, I'm then yeah, I'm Roblox telling PC. On the con- oh. I'm then I'm PC, but like my, my my daughter had it on there. He played on Xbox. Said, yes. And she was freaking going. She was in some spot. She was like in a hotel, <clears throat> or not in a hotel, in an elevator. And the elevator would go up, and the elevator door would open up. She'd be on a different floor, and different shit would pop up on each floor. Mm-hmm. She'd go up in here, put in front of here. It's the hustle. <laughs> and so, so I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, that's the beat. And she, I'm like, oh shit, what about this shit? And it's the adult, clap. No, but it's the actual like uncensored version, you know what I'm saying, of the song. Yeah. Like right there playing. You know what I'm saying? And then it would close. Okay, I'm lost. And then it would go up on Roblox, my daughter being in the elevator. You know no, the going, song you're talking about. Is Drop it like it's hot. Snoop Dogg. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So it would close yeah, and then it pop back open. And the same thing you say, it wasn't a Kim Kardashian video, but it'd be like a Kim Kardashian gift. Yeah, you know you what I'm saying? Some type, you could just see shit. Like, and that's what I'm saying. You, know, you sit, so you got shit like that, and then you got a lot of these motherfuckers on there who, even 18 year olds and shit, who trying to fuck with four year olds and fucking 15 year olds. You remember in the chat where a kid was trying to meet grown men in Vegas? What? Y'all said you, you, I was in the chat recently. The kid was trying to meet grown men in Vegas. Oh, yeah. We were sitting there playing Battlefield, and this little The light skinned was... nigga ass, huh? But that nigga ass with long hair don't care, you understand? Because I didn't know where the fuck it was coming from, but when he said Rihanna said it, then yeah, uh, I know because I was there in that chat. Like, I was there. I said you and Rihanna was in the chat. I didn't hear you. you didn't like, you know. Yeah, I didn't get none of all of what you said. <laughs> that guess is too much of it. I got what you're saying. I'm but uh, yeah, he was sitting there trying to like, hey, yeah, we should meet up and do it. We're like, whoa, bro, like, uh, you're a minor, bro. That wouldn't look good, like in no kind of way. Like, there's no way for you, like, nah. And then Chris hands and walk out. So how you doing, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so fuck, like, so about it, this Nevada 14D. Like, so did you? So you brought you brought me. Brought your Xbox. What you plan to do? I tonight? see the bong in your head. <laughs> got a backpack. And I'm sitting. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm sitting. I was just fucking. With, we got quiet for a bit. Like me and me and wife, we was just sitting there like, like we just like, feel like you were being. I know. After I know. After I said my piece on it, like I was just like I just shut the fuck up because little dude was just talking about like he was sitting there just out of nowhere. He was like, just ask some random ass question. What could what, if you could exterminate an entire race, which one would you get rid of? And I'm like, all right, bro, yeah, now you gonna have to, yeah, you on some other other shit. Like, <laughs> I was so close to just burn that one. I can't do it. I'm racist. Oh my god. Same. <laughs> I was saying I seen that video online. So you what you think? And that one say, old people. <laughs> that, that white guy was all like, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> That shit was just. I was like, yo. Yeah. Oh, you see, it's like five people exit the chat when he asked that question. Like, <laughs> no, he asked it on the street. And he asked that question. And the motherfucker would look at him like, uh, yeah, I gotta go. Oh, she said, I spoke up, told the kid that he can't be trying to meet grown folks on Xbox. That would get them arrested. <laughs> fuck that. That would fuck the kid. No, up. The kid the- gonna get fucked up. Wait. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> No, that's the, no, that was no, go. that no, that was the point. No, that was the point that we made though. Yeah. The point that we made was like, hey, you doing shit like that would get us fucking caught up. Even homie, who he was talking to, who he knew, who he like, cause he came in the party knowing somebody else. Yeah. yeah. And the original homie who he came in with was even telling him that shit. And we said the same thing, like, like if we not like, but like I don't know you. That's not what like the that. fuck is up, fam. Like, that, nah. <laughs> and then you can't even say wait till you 18 because that shit sound like some grooming shit. So you just got to be like, fam, that shit not going to happen. And then when after they are grown, you can maybe talk about that shit. But That yeah. shit's just fucking weird to me, That's bro. I, like, like, I that do, shit weird I play, to me. I'll play with a little kid if they, like, pause. On the game, on the video game. <laughs> nah, fuck that. We should be able, nah, fuck that. Nah, we should be able saying, to fucking nah, say, say that, that shit without being able yeah. to fucking pause on that shit. Who is this? How he left that open ended? Nah, nah nigga, I shit. didn't even let him finish the sentence nah, though. Nah, you yeah, nigga, you just that bitch like I was waiting for that hoe. He just, he just that bitch like double dutch on that bitch, waiting to hop in that hoe like. He jumped in like I was like I Uno or some shit. He hit X quick than the bitch, didn't he? Oh no, god damn, nigga, let me draw two right quick. I hit the nose right on the head. But, uh, no, it's like, 
I play with the kids, they just like on the game, like, hey man, help me get a win, help me get a win. You know what I'm saying? Now, Don't, you remix it this time. You're right, fuck you. Uh, cause, cause, cause kids be cool in a bitch sometimes. They be innocent as hell on the game. They're like, oh my god, I gotta kill, I gotta kill. So sometimes they cool in a bitch, but you get to talking shit like that, like, nah, little nigga. I don't know. Get out. The, that's when I kick your ass in the chat instantly. You can't play with us no more. You talking shit like that? Get out. Go, go find some of your own age now. I uh, know. Nah, fuck that. They on the other team or my team? Cause you know, but you know how them youngsters be and shit that they, they are. They on be my to, team they or the other team? Your team. Okay, like I guess I could be nice. Nah, I'm sure. I am. You ain't about to do all that whole. <laughs> The mother, little motherfuckers be trying too hard sometimes and shit. Like, they be trying. You know how motherfuckers be. Like, they be trying to, like, impress you and shit and just be doing too damn much. I'm like, nah, man. Just relax. You be so cool. So, <coughs> but you do get the cool youngsters and shit, bro. Like, that shit do be cool, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't, uh, matter of fact, when Quay came in here on the last podcast and shit, I even like, when he jumped in and he used to roll with us on GTA, he was 15 and shit. Oh, yeah. But we would let him ride, though, because he wasn't, you know what I'm saying? He was just chilling. Chilling. Was, yeah, he, he wasn't, wasn't on no extra shit. No, no, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it was, you know what I'm saying? It was cool, but yeah, just motherfuckers got to know how to act, man. Um, all right, so we already talked about the band Call of Duty player. Uh, one robot, uh, one robot, blah, one robot companion from a movie. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're stranded somewhere, but you get one robot <laughs> companion. And it could be with you after you come back, but who would you rather have your one robot? Many movies. Chappie. I'll see it? your Chappie and I'll raise you a Goddard from Jimmy Neutron. Because that nigga can be a bike, okay, a gun, he a gun. He, 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 he multi purpose like a son bitch, you show, right? Uh, Beta Max. Oh, so you a giant? giant? No. That nigga too big. You can't go covert with that nigga, though. I mean, unless he sends like his finger, but then. La, 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 la. Nah, he's talking about, he's talking about, hey, I'm Big Mac. Big Hero 8, 6, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, the Disney movie. Yeah. 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 Okay, 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 okay. You know that's Marvel too, right? What? That's a Marvel, that's actually a Marvel property. For real? Yep. For real, y'all bullshit. No bullshit. It's like a, it's like an alternate universe where like Japan and Tokyo and some, uh, New York or something is mixed together or something like that. Brian, 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 Brian. That's Marvel. Huh, that's dope. I did not fucking know that. Yeah, that's fresh shit. Today. But it is, but it's, but it's funny that you mentioned it because Disney got it. So it, yeah, okay, that's that's dope as fuck. I like that. Pull up. Uh, nah, I, wait, Bay 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 Bay. Bay. I said got it. You said Baymax. Who's your who's your who's your robot companion? Alright, that's not bad. And then, you know what, Chappie? You know who I go and to be with Chappie? I was thinking about Bender. I'll go with Bender to compete with Chappie because that nigga uh, like, fucked up. Nigga, me. Bender would get me in too much shit. He'd give me too much muscle. But see, that, that's the type of that's like, that's if I'm on that type of time. If I'm on like demon time, I'm going to see. Hold on. on. The if my nigga got Bumblebee, he just cut out a major expense. You ain't never got to pay for gas. That's the fuck off. <laughs> like, bro, you don't have need to worry about gas with that motherfucker at all. But he gonna I have know. to have good house insurance because how many times will Bumblebee be fucking up garages and shit? No. You know what? Forever parked outside. Uh, <laughs> but he yeah. bumblebee, nigga. He ain't getting reach out here that shit, we nigga. Sidewalk beep, parking. Beep, 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 motherfucker. He gonna come right through your window, motherfucker. Well, shit. That nigga bumblebee like a dog. <laughs> Dude, that big dogs be thinking they fucking chihuahuas. Yeah, well, yeah. shit. Hey, he gonna, be head ass. Well, shit, he gonna be peeping at the wrong time and he gonna see me getting some, man. Shit, his ass may learn something. Take it back to whatever planet his ass came from. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying bumblebee will go make a humblebee. And then come back with a, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck. But nah, that should be style. Cut the slow jams on me. Psych, psych, no. He's talking about that kid. He's talking about I would have Herbert the first. Kill you. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, damn. You're right. (laughs) Oh, shit. All the jams start playing in that bitch. Oh, shit. Motherfuckers start hitting that. Uh, What's that? Like all them hoes, that nigga just go, <laughs> go through all the slow jams and shit, bro. That shit will be, bro. Tearing the cheeks up. Now you know what? See, that's what we need to do. See, that's why you need to get motherfuckers like us to get an animator and do some skits, cause that'll be fresh than a bitch, bro. Like, man, we have Bumblebee and this bitch thugging. Oh, uh, let's right. go, Digi Kids. All right, look, people are complaining. One, they hating on Thor four anyway, but. 
they complaining because you know the big scene with all the kids in that bitch. The uh, the action scene with it. If the kids had bad acting, they just took them out and digitized their ass and used digital kids in that shit. And people were talking about, oh, it's bad. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's bad. I, quite frankly, don't give a fuck. Fuck them kids. That nigga was bad acting. Put a little Digi Monster in that bitch and let's keep it pushing. Fuck. Do y'all give a fuck if they're digital kids? Do I still get credit for that was a parent? Nah, your kids suck. But probably get like $15 for lightning. My kid was like, you think I'm digital? digital kid? They probably gonna blur the face. Yep, yep, no, nope. I'm right, nope. I'm rocking with it because, hey, guess what? Even if kids, we gotta let their ass know. You gotta be good enough to do the job. If you ain't good enough to do the job, then guess what? You don't get the job. No fuck participation, Fuck all that, pam- fuck all, exactly. No, fuck all that pampering shit, no. Nigga, if you sign me to a contract and I go in the movie come out and I'm not there, then that, does, does that make my contract nah, null and void? Nah, by the time that movie come, before that movie come out, you will know. You will know you ain't in that scene. The movie ain't gonna come out and you just gonna go up and look. And see, oh man, they digitized me and took me out. Nah, you gonna know. You go, you go, truck. You go know that you got that you got took it out. Unless you that ass, yeah. it's like fuck I don't it. Think so. And if you don't, then your What's agent. What's good, Michael Grady? How you doing? Appreciate that freaking, like. If you don't, your agent is trash. If you don't know some shit like that. credit is dancing as the monster. That's incredible, dancing as the monster. But no, I actually rock with that though. But last one before we get to some of this gaming though, homie ass. Should movies take the Spider-Man approach? What the fuck is that mean? Right, so the Spider-Man movie. The Spider-Man movie, there's seven of them. The newest one. It did the hash over his origin story. The new Batman movie. Didn't hash over the Batman story. So, do you think that going forward with superhero movies, we should rehash origin stories if this character is big enough that we all know the origin story. Depends on who writing it. Write the story to make the story good. I really don't give a fuck. If you tell me the origin and you do it right and it makes sense and, you, and there's a purpose for you showing me the main, main origin of it, cool. But, yeah, I don't need to see Uncle Ben die no more. Give us his origin in a different way. So I do appreciate the way that they did it because we see Uncle Ben die 15 times. So we uh, may give him the great power, great responsibility line. I appreciate that a little bit more. Uh, I like the way they're going to the Miles Morales, 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 Miles What? We don't need to know what we're going to do. We know where he came from. Or what he did. Now, whether you like the movie or not, nigga, the story is the story. Yeah, we don't need to know. We ain't got to keep thinking Nobody asked you. <laughs> but me and him were having the conversation. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, that's the thing. The movie was not bad. It's just that there was... Oh, I agree. Movie. I agree. As a fan, I enjoyed all of it. And then what they kind of do with some of the continuity is kind of weird, too. But at the same time, it's fucking comic books. Everything doesn't have to be perfect storylines, you know? But no, even though the, the origin story of Wolverine is fucked up. What you mean? Oh, just... You talking about... Yeah, yeah I get you. But, uh, yeah. So... Well, I thought it was so so sorry weird for the we funny of the see. movie. But... Ones that we have seen that I wouldn't mind actually getting a good one, Jean Grey. We've kind of seen hers, but I wouldn't mind getting a really good Jean Grey, like a fleshed out Jean Grey. No, nigga, you know who I want to see? Clayface. No, Legion. I want to see that cannon. This show's good. Niggas multiverse, they might bring that nigga in. That's what I'm saying, bring that nigga. But that'd be weird. Yeah, man. That'd he was, be weird. I mean, that, that's uh, that fucking TV show was fucking. That's dope, what I'm saying. Niggas like that show though. That, that shit was it. just fucking. It was psychedelic as fuck. That's what man had them motherfuckers put that shit on. Why you shit? Hey, woo. Nah, I'm good. I, I know. I yeah, 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 it was fucking uh, awesome uh, shit. Uh, for real, uh, for real. TV show but shit, nah. Weird. But that's all the topic shit. Y'all ready to start whooping ass? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully this shit is going all right. Cause I got about twenty minutes, thirty minutes. 
I will switch it back right now to try to get that right. Ooh. Just to see. Ooh. Hey, what do you call a fish with no eyes? One, baby, beat the Utah Jazz by three points, baby. <laughs> 103 to 100. That cold. Down she got a double double 33 and 11 with assists, five rebounds. Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> Bang! Dance! 
Oh, I know him. That's the that's the anime yeah. nigga. Uh, okay. Your turn, sir. Dance, he dance and dance. You got my 
just want to see what you do. Hey, Wild Oh. Everything.
champ. He ain't even signed to a new new uh, contract. Brock Lesnar in that bitch. No hands with Brock. He's sorry in WWE. They should have picked Alistair over him.
Oh, no, no, I want you air fried.
Are you ready? Are you ready?